Hi, my name is Lexi. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Sweden. Hej, jag heter Lexi. Jag är 19 år gammal och är från Sverige. Hi, my name is Daniela. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Hola, me llamo Daniela. Tengo 19 años y soy de Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, I'm Nayong. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Korea. 안녕하세요. 저는 21살 나영입니다. 저는 한국에서 왔습니다. Hi, my name is Ilya. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Belarus. Привет, Таня. Меня зовут Ilya. Мне 21 год и я с Беларуси. Hi, I'm Mei. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Japan. Konnichiwa. Watashi wa Nihon kara kita 17 sai no Mei desu. Hi everyone, I'm Samara, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Brazil. E aí galera, eu sou a Samara, tenho 17 anos e sou do Brasil. Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Emily, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Hello, I'm Uwa, I'm 15 years old, I'm from Japan. Konnichiwa, Nihon kara kimashita, 15 sai no Uwa desu. Hello, my name is Isrela. I'm 20 years old and I'm Indian from Australia. Namaskaram and Ebere Ezrela. Enike Irvata Vaise. Nyan Australia il Minuru Malialiana. Hello, I'm Hinari. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Japan. Konnichiwa, Juyan Sairi Hinari des. Utoshima ni Homare des. Hi, my name is Brooklyn. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Texas. Hi, my name is Celeste, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Argentina. Hola, mi nombre es Celeste, tengo 19 años y soy de Argentina. Hello, my name is Sofia, I'm 20 years old and I'm from the Philippines. Magandang araw, ako po ay si Sofia, mula sa Pilipinas. Mabuhay sa inyong lahat. Hi, my name is Marky, I'm 17 years old from Thailand. Swati ka, shima ki ka, ayu subjet bi, jak bete thai ka. Hi, my name is Mano. I'm 21 years old from Switzerland. Hallo, mein Name ist Mano. Ich bin 21 aus der Schweiz. Hi everyone, my name is Adela. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Slovakia. Ahojte, volám sa Adela, mám 19 rokov a som zo Slovenska. Hello, my name is Yunche. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Korea. 안녕하세요, 저는 15살 Yunche입니다. 저는 한국에서 왔습니다. Hey, my name is Carly Tanaka. I'm 19 years old, Korean and Japanese American from Honolulu, Hawaii. 안녕하세요, 저는 칼리입니다. 열아홉 살입니다. 고니츠와 다시는 나마와 다나가 칼리 됐어. 두 키사이 됐어. Hey, I'm Laura Raj. I'm 17 and I'm Indian from LA. Vanakam yan belara yan ka badan ay advice. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm 17 years old and I'm Chinese American from Honolulu, Hawaii. So talented.
Dream. 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 Dream Academy. I've dreamed of providing an opportunity to talented young people from all around the world, a members of a fabulous band based on K-pop methodology. 그리고 저는 이런 일이 일어나려면 미국 시장이어야 된다고 생각을 했고 그게 제가 미국에 오게 된 이유예요. Your vision and your idea, the idea of coming together and trying to bring a group together by finding talented people and letting them find their way. I was shocked when 70,000 people send in tapes and within a week, which I knew that there would be a good reaction, but that is out of this world. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, us going around the world and doing auditions to make sure that we were getting the best. Dream Academy라는 컨셉을 가져왔을 때 저는 와우 이거다 이게 정말 우리 연습생들을 표현할 수 있는 가장 좋은 말이구나 그들의 꿈을 추구하고 꿈으로 엮여 있는 그리고 그들이 그 탤런트에 대해서 충분히 회사의 지원을 받으면서 스타가 될수 있는 그런 공간이구나 이게 그런 프로그램이구나 라고 느꼈고 이게 결국 음악인으로서 우리가 느끼는 진짜 행복인 것 같아요 you and I have been on this journey now for over two years since Geffen and Hyde came together to start this project. The girls now have been over a year training. We're down to our last 12 weeks where now the world gets to know who they are. They get to see their talents and connect with them in a different way. And at the end of that 12 weeks, we'll come to that conclusion of there being a finale, a live stream, where we're going to narrow down and pick who the group is, yeah. which is going to be super exciting. Yeah, I'm still excited. The Dream Academy brings together 20 aspiring female artists from around the globe. In mission number one, the showcase will unveil the contestants' months of training, resulting in two eliminations. In the team mission, the contestants will travel to Korea to compete in teams, followed by another series of eliminations. In the last mission, artistry will test their ability to pull off unique concepts, all leading up to November 17th when a revolutionary new global girl group will be unveiled at the live finale. Welcome to the Dream Academy. I feel like to be a successful part of this group mm -hmm. is going to require a huge amount of creativity and passion. Mm -hmm. I think with every artist, that's what we look for. It's amazing because, you know, going through this program and having the ability to work with one of the most amazing dance instructors or going through the vocal coaching and them coming together and supporting one another has been amazing. The team member is a very important business partner. And for that reason, the business partner has to be able to work with the business partner. They have to be able to work with the business partner. I always had these check boxes in my mind when I met with an artist of um, finding somebody who's very talented, yeah. who, you know, you can tell in their voice, their songwriting, that is hardworking, that has star quality, that's driven, that has a vision. Mm -hmm. 
기회가 왔을 때 뿜어낼 수 있도록 훈련 받는 것도 되게 중요하고 이제 이분들한테 기회가 온것 같아요. 어? 어? It's been a long journey, uh -huh. and I can't wait to see how it actually turns out. Yeah, yeah. And see where it ends in all this. I mean, it's we again the girls have been doing this for over a year. The next 12 weeks are going to be um, interesting and hard. Yeah. And excited. I'm so excited, like you. So I can't wait for the world to see what's next to come. I've been waiting for a long time to go to the stage. I've been waiting for a long time to go to the stage. I've been waiting for a long time to go to the stage. I've been waiting for a long time to go to the stage. I've been waiting for a long time to go to the stage. 아 그룹으로 할 때는 어떤 느낌일까? 지금 친구들이랑도 너무 잘 맞아서 행복하게 연습하고 또 좋은 시간을 보내고 있습니다. 가사가 한국어가 아니라 영어이기 때문에 그런 해석적인 부분에서도 조금 더 디테일적으로 해석을 하고 있고 그동안 데뷔의 기회가 되게 많았는데 항상 뭔가 놓치고 좀잘안 되는 부분들이 많았어서 정말 잘 데뷔해서 사람들한테 진짜 이 한순간이 빛나는 날이 목표라서 정말 잘 준비하고 있습니다. 저는 어, 항상 감사하고 또 항상 제가 사랑하는 부모님께 바치고 싶습니다. 저 열심히 하고 기다려줘서 고맙고 열심히 해서 이제는 꼭 데뷔를 해보도록 할게 사랑해 진짜 私はこのプログラムに参加が決まった時驚き通りしさが同時に飛び込んできましたついに自分の夢のスタートラインに立てたんだっていう喜びとこれから厳しいトレーニングが始まるんだっていう不安もあったけどドキドキの方が落ち着
I'm nervous because, you know, this is the first mission and this is what people is going to see for the first time. I just want to do well. I want my country to be proud of me. I'm really excited to see like people's reactions about me being like the first Argentinian trainee under this company. The most scariest moment for me was probably my third month here. I had a really big encounter with anxiety and depression, which I had never before. That third month, I was really scared of the physical aspect of everything because I've never done anything so physically rigorous in my life. Like, what do I do? I felt like stuck, basically. I really love being on the vocal team, especially because we haven't had the opportunity to do a lot of formal group vocal performances a lot. So it feels really special to get to be a part of it. I feel really confident because I auditioned as a vocalist and I am a vocalist in this program. I've heard myself like the playback many times and I feel really confident about how I sound and the tone I've chosen for things. So I feel really good about this mission. Even if my heart is like screaming, I can't do this anymore, like, I won't give up if it means that much to me and I couldn't bring myself to and that even in the moments where I think I'll never get over it, like it, it passes, it goes and you grow from it even more. When I first got accepted into the program, I thought that I had already made the group. <laughs> I love our dance that we got assigned. It's OMG by New Jeans and it's just so cute and it's so fun. And I feel like OMG is such like a fun, happy vibe. And I feel like that's definitely kind of my personality in general. I feel like going into the first mission, I feel like there's a lot of pressure because obviously you have such an iconic video and an iconic concept of OMG and it's just, that almost pressure of like being able to live up to other people's expectations of it. Turn it out every time. Ah, yeah. I feel like the biggest thing that I've learned so far being in the program is to trust yourself. It's very easy to get lost in the training and not thinking that you're improving, but just remembering like you have a dream and you're here to work hard for your dream. So just remember that your hard work will pay off. We're all here for the same reason and that's to chase our dreams. So just keep working. So I was accepted in February of this year, 2023, and it was just amazing. Like, I never thought that something like that would happen to me. I think before I came here, all the insecurities and stuff like that, because I would be, am I the same level as the girls? Like, I haven't been training for so long, but like doing what I can and doing my best. So I'm really like happy of like where I am right now. Yeah. Let's do it together. I'm in love because like I sing since I was little, so I'm so happy that they put me on the vocal group. I feel really confident about because this is my area, my specialist. I like it there. It's like more emotional, so I think you can keep it. For this first mission, I just want to make this really like memorable for the public. I want them to feel all the emotions through my voice and that remind them of their first love and all of the butterflies that the song is about. And also I want them to like, when I sing, they're like, this is my favorite version of the song. It's been like a shorter time that I've been training, but I have like absorbed so much information from all the teachers. All the girls even, like, I've made such incredible friendships. I've been a singer my whole life, so just like, music, singing, that's everything to me. I have been obviously doing a lot of vocal warm-ups to prepare, but something that I've been like, focusing on is my storytelling and performance and like, facial expressions. A little bit of that sweetness, that okay. smiley sweetness that we talked about. Probably the biggest thing right now is our group chemistry. It feels like the work has finally paid off being able to showcase this to the world. And I feel like truly like the blood, sweat and tears that we've put into this, it really is all for a reason because, you know, training all the time every day, like it can feel, it's exhausting, you know, like it's so fun, but it can be tiring. And so I feel like now it's all paying off.
The program has been so amazing so far. I think the biggest thing I've learned is just accepting yourself and not being scared of not being perfect. Going into this first mission, I'm very confident. I don't think I'm very worried about anything. The only thing I would be worried about is like my shoe falling off or something like that because I've been practicing for so long. I, I like that. No, because you need that. Then you can like get away a little bit. I think the first couple of months I was not confident with who I was, but now from all these months of training and being surrounded by all these amazing girls, I can now finally embrace who I am and show that kind of quirky, weird side of me. I think the one thing I want everyone to know about me is that there's so much more to me than just singing and dancing. I feel like my personality off camera and off stage is totally different from who I am on stage. Stay on one level so it looks yeah. like I'm I feel like I'm a very funny, outgoing, quirky person, and I would just love to show everyone that side of me. Look at my uniform. First time that I found out that I am getting accepted to the program, it's basically, ah! The most difficult part of the journey is being without your family or your friends, not having a home, and being poor. Being away from my family, this is my second year of training, and I haven't hugged them ever since. So I miss them so much, um, but we keep pushing. For this specific mission, it was not just hours, not days, not weeks, months, months of rehearsing. I just think story-wise, you can pull from your real life a little bit more. I feel really ready for it, but also I feel nervous. I want to dedicate this performance to all of the girls or just like people that are going through some hard times, but there is a hope and I want to bring that a little bit of light into their life and say that, yes, it's hard, but it's going to be better and it's going to be okay. シガ、学んだことは皆さんとても魅力が負けずに一緒たくさん頑張ってやっていた私のダンスを見てくれている人が圧倒されるような見てて笑顔になれるようなパフォーマンスを披露したいと思っています。今はとってもワクワクしててとっても楽しみです。Throughout the program, I've learned a lot about being able to hold on to who you really are. You could easily forget who you are and what you have to bring, and that's really what makes us all so unique. I'm so glad I'm in the vocal team. Singing is everything to me. I did enter the program as a vocalist, so I'm really excited to showcase that. For my group and I, we've been working a lot on our chemistry. So we would be singing the song together, but we would be holding hands, or we would just be having fun and dancing around the room and singing and trying to make sure that our energy is together. Overall, it's really, really good. Let's do your, the after together. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. I feel like I've been working so hard every single day. And my first thought when they announced this whole phase to us was simply my family and my country and the rest of the people that care about me, I was just so excited for them to see me. This is my 
극복하고 있습니다. 이게 첫 번째 미션이고 사람들에게 첫 번째로 보여질 그런 영상이다 보니까 많이 두렵기도 하고 설레기도 하고 정말 기쁩니다. 제가 무대에서 춤을 출때 보여드릴 수 있는 그런 기와 표정 연기 그런 거를 많이 보시고 저에 대해서 더 알아갈 수 있으면 좀 좋겠습니다. 이 힘든 순간을 잠시라도 버티면 더 멋있는 사람이 될 거라고 생각을 하고 복하려고 노력하고 있습니다. When I first got accepted into the program, I was really excited because this is such a dream for me. I love the dance team. I love dancing and I love performing. So I get so excited, like practicing for the dance, and the concept is really cute too. And this that's, is me. That's me. Okay, that's why I was like, why stop? When it is time for the mission, I don't want my nerves to stop me from having fun because I think the dance is really about having fun, and we get to do what we love. The rap part, I've completely. It's okay, girl. We'll find it. If I had to dedicate this performance to someone, I think it would be my team. When we practiced together, we had so much fun and we filmed so many videos together and we really became this like group of like best friends. And I want the audience to see that too, that this performance is really about how much we care about each other. OMG, who is he? OMG, who is he? I think so far the most rewarding thing on my journey has been being able to look back and see how much I've grown as a person and being able to really see the change. I feel like I've prepared and I've prepped and I'm just excited to be able to show the world what we've been working on. I just hope I can radiate through the screen my passion. I've been really trying to prepare showing my emotion through the music and showing my emotion through the performance because I think this is one of the first things people see of us performing. I really, really want to show that emotion. I tried to come in with a positive mentality. I feel like I've stuck with that positive mentality throughout this. And I think fearing things is only going to make it worse. All of the auditions I've done, like hundreds and hundreds of no's, has been very hard. And finally, I got a yes, and I feel like this is meant to be. I think this first mission was a little bit of a roller coaster for me. I feel like when I started, it was a little bit rough, and I just kept working my hardest to keep getting better and better, not only dancing-wise, but also really understanding the energy of Blackpink and bringing that into the performance. And I feel like now I'm almost at the peak, and I'm ready to just let loose and go down and perform it for everyone. I'm just so excited to do that. I came into the program with a lot of dance experience and ballet. And even though I, I love singing, I used to do that more for myself. It was like a very vulnerable thing for me. And so performing in front of people, I had a lot of performance anxiety that I had to deal with. I just drill the moves a lot so that it's completely in my body so that when it's time for the performance, I just get to really enjoy it and perform and bring my personality and focus on the concept. But also for this specifically, because it's a cover of Blackpink, I really made sure to watch a lot of videos and really just like make sure that I do them justice as best as I can. I'm very excited to go into this first mission. I feel like we all have been waiting for so long and now it's finally happening, so I'm thrilled. I hope they see how the girls and and I harmonize, like how we vibe together because I truly love this group so much and I feel like we all add something special. So I hope the world sees that. I think the scariest thing was just not knowing what was going to happen, not knowing how the next few months were gonna look like, not knowing how long this would take, just the uncertainty of that. I feel like coming to terms that you can't always be the best 
like for me for example I haven't danced before this program so my skill set was pretty low and I struggled a lot with that in the beginning because I'm surrounded by incredibly talented dancers. My experience so far has been pretty good. I mean, obviously there's ups and downs. I've been working really, really hard for the past year. And I went from not singing in front of anyone to now going ahead and singing in front of the whole world, which is, is crazy. There were many difficult moments. I, I think when you're in it, you would know that it's physically exhausting, but it's also really mentally exhausting. The thought, the doubt, the overthinking, like there's a lot of that. And I feel like that's not something that you see when you're looking from the outside. I feel like I'm just ready to finally show the world what I've been working on and what my whole team has been working on for the longest time. Going into this mission, I wouldn't say I have anything super worrying on my mind. I'm really excited and I'm really like pumped. As the show continues, I feel like we'll be able to open up and show different sides of ourselves that we can show to the audience. So with this particular mission, I feel like I just want to show the vibe, like a little introduction of like our skills and like our performance facials and everything.練習をしている期間もとても短くて、それで練習生の方々に迷惑をかけてしまうことがあって、それが本当に申し訳なかったので、今頑張って練習しているのと、それに皆さんが助けてくれて、本当に優しくしてくださっているので、それ以上に頑
You call me again, drunk in your beds, driving home under the influence. You scared me to death, but I'm wasting my breath. Cause you only listen to your fucking friends. I don't relate to you. I don't relate to you, no. Cause I never treat me the shitty. You made me hate the city. We're here for our first evaluation of the showcase mission, and that is where we have teams of two vocal performances and two dance performances. So Melanie, thank you for being here. We really appreciate it because we want to hear your perspective and advice on these performances because it's going to be invaluable for us. Thank you for having me. Seriously, seriously. Um, my name is Melanie Fontana. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm a songwriter. Uh, I've been working with Hive artists for about the last half of a decade, and it has been amazing. And I'm just so honored to watch these girls become a band. Let's get into our first performance. So those are the two vocal performances. You know, we obviously have our opinions on it. Definitely want to get your advice on what you think of those two performances. Well, I mean, if you had to pick somebody out of uh, the Still Into You performance, the chemistry between uh, Laura and Nyan, it was just unbelievable. Everybody just blended together so well. And honestly, Samara, like Love. her vocal ability at the very end of the song, this little run, it just made you feel something. The mashup, that one felt the most like several solo artists singing in a group. There were moments that I wished it were more blended. Ilya felt most like a solo artist, but the harmonizing, the tone was really beautiful. Uh, Brooklyn really took the lead on that one and I love how she was just like this powerful voice guiding everybody else. As far as Manon, I think maybe she could have pushed a little more, but she was also so fabulous at backing up her girls, which I think is also a very important thing in a group. So we all agree Manon needs to push harder, but the main obstacle I think we're facing is her missing rehearsals. I feel that this strongly affected her performance. And at this stage, we need to see commitment from everyone.
So I know your expertise is in vocal, but we'd love to get your point of view on the first dance performance, which is Pink Venom. I feel as a fan, it's hard to make a dance cover exciting, but I feel like Pink Venom, it excited me. The dancers that really stood out to me were Megan and Daniela in that one. Uh, they just hit the choreography so hard. Hinari, she was so collaborative. She was such a good backup for everyone. I don't feel like she shined as much as the other girls and I don't think that was for any fault of her own. Let's talk about Adela for one second. I feel as though in the video, there could have been moments she could have stood out more. I just wanted to see a little more of Adela's personality in that one, I think. OMG, you could palpably feel how much fun the girls were having. OMG to me was fun nonstop to finish. There was no nervous energy from any of the dancers. I felt Emily driving a lot of that one. Ezrella as well. You caught her moving and your eye just sort of followed her around the screen. I feel like there's a learning curve when it comes to dancing and when it comes to performing. For me, the more time Mei puts in, the better and better she's going to get. But yeah, Yoon Che kind of slayed for me. I really felt Marquis' personality in this one. Yoon Che and Marquis and Emily were my front runners as far as my eye couldn't stop finding them on the screen. So dance, which team did you feel performed better? For me, it was the OMG team that really put me in a place to go, wow, that's, that's a group. I need you to tell me who you thought stood out as a team from the first vocal performances. If I was forced to pick a favorite, I would have to say Still Into You has my heart. It really does. There was just such an exchange of energy between the girls. I absolutely loved the chemistry. 중요한 결정을 앞두고 멜라니 님의 새로운 시선으로 보는 저희 참가자들의 모습이 좀 궁금했는데 많은 도움이 될것 같습니다. 오늘 함께해 주셔서 너무 감사해요. These women are so incredibly talented. It's just out of this world. I think it was super helpful having Melanie here just to give give her view on everything. And, you know, we've been such a part of this process for the past year and a half. And I think having someone who's kind of giving their opinion in that way was, was super helpful. But I think now we have to really get into it. Um, and get into all four of these groups. I think that was super helpful having Melanie here just to give give her view on everything and you know we've been such a part of this process for the past year and a half and I think having someone who's kind of giving their opinion in that way was, was super helpful but I think now we have to really get into it. So I think let's start with Still Into You. I think from my take on everything I think this I agree was the best group performance. I think Nayong and Lara, they had great chemistry. The harmonies worked perfectly. I think Sophia was an amazing anchor for this song. I think Celeste's tone is very unique in a very good way for an artist, but in terms of a group and blending in, I think that stood out to me. Celeste's 
그러다 보니까 우선 본인이 자신감도 좀 많이 없었던 것 같고 그게 이제 그룹으로 뭐 아티스트로 데뷔하기에 있어서 가장 중요한 부분 중에 하나거든요 근데 그걸 극복하지 못하면 사실 쉽지 않을 거라고 생각이 돼요 I've always thought that in this performance Sophia, Lara and Samara stand out Celeste's tone just doesn't seem to blend in I think your point about team chemistry is super important I think that brings us nicely into the mashup five amazing individual singers mm. and so it was interesting to hear them work together as a team mm. and blend. Ilya kind of I have the same note as previous for Celeste I think she stood out as a solo vocalist trying to fit in with the team. Mm. 저도 같은 생각이고 그리고 일리아는 어, 얘기했었던 것처럼 음, 너무 너무 잘하는데 뭔가 그냥 혼자 있는 그런 느낌이 좀 들었던 사실 마노온 같은 경우는 톤이 되게 저음이라서 또 그리고 되게 유니크해서 잘 녹아들었던 것 같긴 한데 너무 어, 으, 음악에 집중하는 모습이 좀 어색했던 것 같아요. 너무 긴장한 모습이 좀 보여서 되게 아쉬웠었고 그리고 뭔가 좀 보면서 불안한 그런 느낌을 좀 받았었었고요. Manon definitely needs to push harder. I don't know if it's a confidence issue or rehearsing, but she can do it, and I think she needs to get to that point. Ilya, yeah, hands down. Sounds good, but feels like she's not blending in with the rest of the group. Kali, Kali is just a very good person. She's 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 a very good person. 이 유닛은 사실 제가 개인적으로 걱정을 좀 많이 했었던 유닛이었어요. 그래서 응원하는 마음으로 봤었는데 우선은 아들라부터 아들라는 그리고 본인이랑 잘 어울리는 퍼포먼스였다라고 저는 생각을 하거든요. 근데 그렇게 본인한테 잘 어울리는 퍼포먼스임에 불구하고 좀그 본인의 장점을 좀 많이 못 살렸던 것 같아요. 그러니까. 뭐 본인의 파트에서는 뭐 본인이 가지고 있는 것들 다 쏟아붓고 했지만 사실 그 외에 그냥 본인 파트 외에 옆에서 이제 한 그룹으로서 받쳐줘야 되거나 좀 뭔가 옆에서 에너지를 실어줘야 될때참 그런 부분들이 잘안 살았던 것 같아요. 좀 그런 것들이 그러니까 생각보다 많이 안 나와서 좀 놀라기도 하고 많이 아쉬웠던 부분이었던 것 같아요. 어 히나리 히나리도 열심히 잘 했어요 열심히 잘 했는데 솔직하게 히나리가 저는 안 보였었어요 뭐 파트의 문제가 아니라 뭐 본인 그러니까 뭐 이거는 제가 봤을 때는 솔직히 잘못 따라왔었던 것 같아요 퍼포먼스 자체를 못 따라왔고 그러니까 아직 실력적인 면에서 또 본인의 어, 자신감 에너지 뭐 스킬 뭐 여러 가지 부분에서 좀 많이 떨어졌던 것 같아요. 그래서 다른 참가자들에 비해 존재감도 많이 없었던 것도 사실이었고 뭔가 끌려가는 느낌? 그러니까 이들이 열심히 끌어져서 같이 온 그런 느낌을 좀 많이 받았거든요. 보는 내내. 그래서 좀 그런 부분이 아쉬웠던 것 같습니다. Adela, I actually really enjoy watching her mm. perform. I do think that it's maybe kind of to her own rhythm. Hinari, I think she just is young. There's a lot of development that needs to happen, but I think that she did a good job. I will say I think Daniela and Megan, their chemistry together was amazing. Mm -hmm. I think they've mm -hmm. grown mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. as individuals, and I think them coming together, and that was incredible to see. I think Megan killed it. Hinari, I agree with you mm -hmm. as well. I mm -hmm. feel like it got a little bit lost, and I think she needs what we don't have, which is time. Mm -hmm. 이 팀은 우선은 칭찬을 너무 하고 싶은 어, 팀이었었던 것 같아요. 너무 잘했어요. 음, 프로가 아님에도 불구하고 그리고 커버임에도 불구하고 사실 본인들이 할수 있는 역량 안에서 본인들이 보여줄 수 있는 어, 매력들은 한계를 어, 잘 극복하고 잘 보여줬던 것 같아요. 그래서 저는 팀웍이 너무 좋았던 팀이라서 저는 모두에게 다 칭찬하고 싶은 네, 그런 팀이었다라고 우선 생각이 들고요. 특히 저는 어, 에지엘라 어, 
너무 많이 늘, 늘고 있고 너무 많이 성장을 하고 정말 잘 해줬던 것 같아요 에밀리 에밀리는 춤을 다들 아시겠지만 너무 잘 추잖아요 너무 잘 추는데 사실 제가 이, 이런 이런 스타일의 이런 어, 느낌의 안무를 하는 거를 보지를 못했어서 근데 너무 역시나 너무 잘했고 이런 스타일의 안무도 이런 스타일의 퍼포먼스도 너무 잘하는 거를 보고 나서 아, 정말 이 친구는 대단한 친구구나 라는 생각을 사실 개인적으로 했어요 100% I think the chemistry and the charm of this group was amazing and I agree I think Emily is so talented and seeing this style of dance for her was, was a relief in a sense to see that she can kind of do the full rounded picture of it Marquis to me it's really interesting when I see her and she seems very shy and soft spoken and then her performance in this is completely different it's energetic it's bright it she's you know she's on point i loved it it's difficult yeah for all of it i think for all groups because i think all 20 are so talented mm. i think obviously we have the next mission in korea um and that's where we get into more dancing more singing i think obviously this next round is very important and it's going to require a lot of tenacity and i think that's going to bring a lot of challenges for all of them 한국에서 있을 다음 미션에 어, 모두들 다잘 준비를 해서 좀더 성장한 모습을 보고 싶네요. 많이 기대가 되네요. 네. All right, look, this is going to be a hard decision, but I feel like we have all the information that we need to make it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Contestants, incredible work on mission one. In front of you are 18 invitations to Korea from mission two. If your name is called, please stand up and select an invitation, but refrain from opening it until instructed to do so. We told your stories, and after watching your performance videos, the world has cast their votes. The top six contestants have earned immunity from elimination. Na Young. Sophia. Manan. Due to illness, Manan is not able to join us today. We wish her a speedy recovery. Lara. <laughs> Yun Che. Now we're faced with a difficult decision. There are 14 contestants remaining, but only 12 invitations. you will not continue on your journey with the Dream Academy. Your talent, hard work, dedication, potential, and audience support has been meticulously considered. Please stand to receive your invitation.
Daniela. Brooklyn. Isrella. down to our final two invitations. It's with great pleasure to extend an invitation to Celeste. This decision was incredibly difficult. Every one of you bring a unique background and special set of talents to this sisterhood. We know that all of you are destined for a bright future. Don't forget, you are amongst the top 20 of thousands that applied to be a part of the Dream Academy. For our final invitation, we invite Ilya. Adela and Hanari will not be joining us in Korea. Thank you for your unwavering hard work and boundless passion. The world has seen you shine. You should all be proud of your achievements. For our final invitation, we invite Ilya. Adela and Hanari will not be joining us in Korea. I would just like to express my gratitude. Thank you, Yakuem and Slovak. 人生でもう人生で絶対にこれからできないような貴重な経験だったりとか他の練習生たちとの交流だったり今までのその k like the press conference and like going public I think it was like the first time that I ever did something like that, that was that big. I think it's always going to be a memory of introducing ourselves. It was a big moment for all of us. I'm Hinari. I'm 14 years old. I'm learning from the Dream Academy of the Dream Academy. I'm learning from the Dream Academy of the Dream Academy. I'm learning from the Dream Academy. It's been hard, but um, really great. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. I don't know the funny because everyone was going to be the one who was going to be the one who was going to be the one who Oh, 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 oh,
두 번째 미션을 발표하게 되었는데요. 이번 미션은 바로 팀 미션이라고 합니다. 물론 개인의 역량도 중요하지만 팀 전체의 밸런스도 굉장히 중요하잖아요. 네, 맞습니다. 그래서 하나의 팀으로 퍼포먼스 완성도를 높이는 것이 매우 중요한 평가 요소가 될것 같은데요. 본인만의 매력, 실력을 어필하면서 팀원들 간의 케미를 잘 보여주는 것도 놓치면 안 되겠죠? 과연 어떤 곡으로 두 번째 미션을 수행하게 될까요? 두 번째 미션의 첫 번째 곡은 바로 피얼레스입니다. <웃음> <웃음> 아, 저희의 스라핌의 데뷔곡이죠. 자, 첫 번째 피얼레스 팀은 렉시. 마키, 메이, 브루클린, 나영 참가자입니다. 바로 이어서 두 번째 피어리스 팀은 다니엘라, 마농, 우아, 에즈라라, 셀라스데 참가자입니다. 두 번째 미션 곡은 안티프리자입니다. 드스라핌의 미니 2집 타이틀 곡이잖아요. 첫 번째 안티프라자의 팀은 에밀리, 윤채, 나라, 소피아 참가자입니다. 두 번째 안티프라자의 팀은 일리아, 칼리, 사마라, 메간 참가자입니다. 두곡 모두 팬분들에게 정말 많은 사랑을 받을 곡이잖아요. 맞습니다. 더 데뷔 드림 아카데미 참가자분들만의 매력으로 이두 곡을 어떻게 표현하시고 보여주실지가 정말 기대됩니다. 일본인의 참가자분들 많이 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 Although I'm not with them now, I feel a very special connection for some reason. Since they're performing our songs, I'm very excited and I'm looking forward to seeing your performance. I can't wait to see how you guys go through with this journey and I will be supporting and rooting for each and every one of you at the debut Dream Academy. Good luck! 팀 미션 퍼포먼스 영상이 유튜브 하이브 레이블즈 채널과 아베마에서 공개된다고 합니다. 시청자 여러분께서도 많은 기대와 응원 부탁드립니다. 또 퍼포먼스 영상 공개와 함께 위버스에서 투표가 진행된다고 하니까요. 모두 모두 놓치지 마세요. 네, 저희도 어떤 퍼포먼스가 펼쳐질지 너무 궁금하네요. 그러면 두 번째 팀 미션 저희도 응원할게요. 파이팅! 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 바이바이! 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 연습실에 있다니까? 우와. 우리 연습실에 있다니까? 어떤 기분으로 왔을까? 그럼 엄청 좋아하겠다. 
그러게. 근데 나는... 모르는 거지, 우리가. 어, 오늘 어느 날. 근데 오늘 무슨 뭐냐. 틱톡 챌린지 어. 찍는다고 하던데. 어, 그거를 진짜? 내가 찍어주는 거야. 어. 너무 센데? 어, 야, 왜? 분장, 분장이 너. 언니가? 분장이 너. 제대로, 너. 제대로 모자라 할수 있어? 봐봅시다. 에, 갈까? checking in right now to the high building and this is such a dream for all of us a, a dream academy dream 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 say it in your voice slow stay dream academy i love it i can do it i have to연습실 있다니까? 어, 근데 모르는 건지 우리가 어, 오늘 오는 건지 실제로 볼 수는 없다고 생각할 것 같은데 어, 뭔가 아예 음. 설마 이럴 것 같은데 어, 그러니까 설마 그래서 엑스프레스 믹겠지 그러면 할것 어. 같아 음. 음. 근데 얼굴 가리고 가야 될것 같은데 간다고 <웃음> 제대로 제대로 가리고 네. 아, 눈만 감고 가나? 미연은 근데 오디션 판스는 카메라가 많잖아 아, 그래서 아, 스태프분들이 많으니까 아! 아 그게 아, 그러니까 아, 한명 어, 어때? 어, 영화 그래 그래 영화 그 뭐냐 오늘 무슨 틱톡 챌린지 찍는다고 하던데 어. 그거를 어. 내가 찍어주는 거야 어. <웃음> 너무 센데? 어, 야, 분장, 분장해서 언니가? 목소리도 좀 바꿔야 돼 아, 음. 아, 이거 좀 목소리 아, 너무 아, 좀, 아, 목소리 좀 너무 언니니까 좀 많이 낮춰. 낮춰. 네, 네, 목을 잘. 응. 어, 그좀 풀어? 어. 그 안에 머리를 묶어서 좀. 아, 이거 누가 봐도 뜨거니까. 누가 봐도. 아, 근데 마스크 입고 후드 입으면. 근데 근데 조금 너무 모자가 까리고. 다른 것도 있어. 근데 후드 쓰는 게 이거 틱톡이니까 항상 오는 거난 다른 사람이 올 수도 있어. 근데 제대로 해. 지키면 안 된다. 근데, 아, 근데 끝까지 얼굴이 안... 작아서 그냥 다 가려져. 끝까지 안 뜨기면 아, 어떡해? 우리 어, 네, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 근데 벗었는데 아무도 모르면 어떡해? 내가 어, 안녕하세요. 아, 예쁘시네요. 한번 가봅시다. 에, 갈까? 에이. 어, 재밌겠다. 응. 나 이런 거 처음이야. 나 이런 거 뭔가 식음이 안 나. 내가 이런 존재라는 게. 네. 헌 존재예요. 하고 마스크 조금 더 아니, 펴서 진짜 눈만 어, 진짜, 진짜 눈만, 눈만 보기 절대 어, 어때요? 저. 근데 눈은 어쩌... 모르겠지만 누구인 어 뭔가 누구겠다 누구 아니 연예인 우리가 알고 있어서 그래 <웃음> 그치? 근데 내가 근데 딱... 메이저님 같이 들어가면 뭔가 더 그럴싸일 것 같아 <웃음> 떨리겠다 나 이렇게 제일 떨려 오케이 3, 2, 1 우리도 근데 틱톡 찍고 있는 사람 누군지 항상 뭔가 이렇게 보고, 보고 있지 않지 않아? 어 그러니까 우리는 틱톡 찍는 거에 바빠가지고 맞아 크레스가 그래 있어 그러니까 안 찍힐 것 같긴 해 왜? 그래서 이런 것도 기회잖아 연습생들한테 맞아 맞아 정말 안 해요 뭐라도 하나 그런 거 같아 맞아 맞아 어 <웃음> 죄송해요 
It's crazy that we're like meeting you in this Yeonsepshire practice room. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys expect it? Like, no. no. We thought it'd be obvious, so we were like, we should prank you. Oh, no. 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 Wait, I think I know all your names though. No. I think. No. I think. Wait, can I guess? Ilya, right? Ilya and Azrella. Yes. Sophia, Emily, oh. Celeste, Carly, Marquise, oh. Megan, Brooklyn. Lara, Lexi, Samara, Daniela, Manon, wow. May, yes. and what? Yes. Yes. And Naya, yes. Yute. Yes. That's it. Wow. Oh! Because I see you guys so much on like TikTok and YouTube and everything. So. <laughs> そう、いったのこ、こう、ひみえっと、のじが、のじが、よかった。びっくりしました。のじが、すごい、あんてフレーザイル好きなエノジが、重要な効果やそう、気にされて、結構、結構、結構、結構、結構、結構、結構、結構
페레스 던자게 끄거나 그렇진 않아서 뭐 그렇게 그런 안에서 뭔가 자기를 자기 매력을 보여주는 게 너무 너무 좋았던 것 같아요. In a lot of your choreographies, you do a lot of hand holding, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to ask how you like <laughs> learn to like always grab each other at the right time. <laughs> 똑같다. 우리랑 했던, 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 우리 했던 고민인데 아, 저희도 사실 아직 저희 둘이 <웃음> <웃음> 아직도 가끔 놓칠 때가 있거든요. 근데 연습할 때도 정말 어려웠는데 저희도 그냥 서로를 믿고 <웃음> 서로를 믿고 그냥 한번 어, 내가 아래로 할게 언니는 위로 해 이거를 한번 맞췄으면 은 음. 그거를 그냥 믿고 확실하게 잡아줘요 아니면 은한 사람이 놓치더라도 많이 하면서 감을 익히는 것도 중요한 것 같아요 あの、とても恐縮なのですが、さくらさんにあの、このパートの表情を一回見たいです。見たいです。表情的なので見たいです。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> So we heard you guys had some questions for us, so we'd love to, you know, chit chat a little bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sophia? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh! But <laughs> well, I think like one of our worries is definitely the fact that we all have built such a connection with each other throughout this whole journey. And I think that now that we've reached the phase where it's truly a competition and you know, we expected that not all of us are going to be in the group. And I think that's the hardest part about it. Being able to root for your sisters, but also thinking about yourself. In your place mm -hmm. in the competition. I think that's our biggest, one of the biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is a big question. There is like a motto that I kind of live by where I just try my best to believe that everything happens for a reason. You all met for a reason and you're all together for a reason. And I think goodbyes are unfortunately inevitable. But I think that is a part of growing and just the fact that you guys all collectively have this kind of worry is very touching and I kind of like teared up a little bit inside because it's very hard to meet people who both support you while also maintaining, you know, your own individual driving force. You know, I think it's just kind of making every experience an opportunity. It's important to continue rooting each other on. I think that's the best way to keep going forward. Just knowing, you know, even if you're not together, one day you will end up seeing each other again. That's what happened to me, actually. I have practiced for a quite, like, quite a few years, but after debuting and, you know, working my best, in the end, we, like, came full circle, and then they were also doing their best, so in the end, we met. As long as you guys all have your own thing and you believe in yourself, in the end, you'll all see each other again. At the Kazahasa, not dance, not dance on the line, get the pin with the basic The nice things that are on the line, go married in a girl, they say the city. So, my party, but I don't know, it's one dies in a while. So, no, Koko, Tanoshin, the tiny is a company that you're more Tanoshin, like one dies in a lot. Why must <笑>今どういうダンスをされてるのかはわかんないんですけど、その舞踊とかをいっぱい見たりとかしても、その一つのジャンルだけじゃなくて、いろんな種類のジャンルのダンスを見ると、いろんな刺激を受けれるから、一
How was the trip? How was the Korean food? So good! We're always going to the convenience store to get him. Oh my god, so good. Korean convenience store is really good. So good. I don't know if I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit After seeing so many trainees and artists and like uh, really talented individuals, what do you see like drives them the most or what do you think is the most important thing to remember? Before you become artist, you should know what you really want, want, to, want to be. From my perspective, you should love music itself and performing on stage and making fans happy. So whenever I meet the trainees or artists, these three uh, factors are what I tell them to keep it in mind. Wow, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 I feel so much more. Yes, we'll be back. I'm cheesing. I'm cheesing. It's the smile that won't go away. Yeah. My cheeks hurt. My cheeks hurt. I'm gonna need to like massage them tonight. This is like the life. This is my life. I want this life. This is what I want to do. I found my purpose. I'm gonna be just like them. I feel their own love for music, and it's it's so heartwarming because it's truly like my passion and. Oh, it's two, three, five! Hi, everyone. So, I don't know if you all know what we're doing today, but we know you've been working and working and working so hard this entire Korean trip. So, we planned a fun day. As you know, you're dressed in these school uniforms. So, we planned a day for you guys to go to Latte World today. <laughs> Really, you know, I think just a day for you guys to just have fun and really enjoy Korea and something really traditional here. So, oh my god! Yeah. So I can't wait. This is literally our guys' fate a day. I'm so excited. No, I love this I don't know. The last time I remember Christmas. And like, I'm not going to go on every single It's going to be so funny when we go there because we're going to see like some of the Dark Moon characters and then she's going to be like, he sung. And I'm going to be like, Helly. No, I know that. I love it. Helly, Gina, Jacob. No. Okay, so who knows what Latte World is and what's happening there? All right, so tell me what Latte World is first. Okay, so Lotte World is Korea's, um, it's a huge theme park and it's basically like America's Disneyland but like not Disneyland and it's like really big and it has like an indoor big dome park and it has like an outside one and it's like so many rides and you can like wear unicorns and like take pictures and it's like a huge dome, like it's, it's gigantic and there's like an ice skating rink in the middle. So this uniform thing is part of... It's, it's a part of the Lotte world, yeah. People like, go... People go out and dress up, you put on like the ears... It's all uniform. about the, the school uniform. Yeah. And then Sophia and Azrella, do you want to tell us a little bit about what is happening right now in Latte world? The special thing that's happening in this time. Right now, there's a thing called the Dark Moon like Festival, which is like a theme going on at Latte world. And it's basically the webtoon of Enhypen's like... 
like they have like a storyline that they have for all their music videos and stuff like that and the webtoon describes everything that's going on in its own story and basically like in the webtoon they're in an academy and so they have uniforms and basically they have a theme going on where we all have uniforms and like it's so cool because we get to wear the Desolus Academy and it's like DA, it's like Dream Academy. Dream Academy, Desolus Academy! And it's it feels like fate that we came to Korea when the Dark Moon Festival was happening in Latte World. It just made, it's just like perfect. Cute! <laughs> Cute! Cute! Cute.
It could be the one of you being like, spot on, or it could be the one of you being. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how I go. And it's so hard to not check like Twitter after, honestly. Like it is. Like you want to see what you want to see what people are saying, like, even though you know. Like it's just like a, a body instinct to like. Oh. I want to say something, but but I can ex explain in English. It's okay. You can say it in Okay. ミッションチェンは、あ、そうなの。なんか、あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの。あ、そうなの
with us going public because we've all been working. Sorry, no, it's fine. But that's literally like what I was thinking. Like, we're gonna publicly see who the people love so much and who the people don't love. Personally, I didn't think I was gonna rank this high just because how I felt about Mission One. But I was like, okay, now I have this pressure of the public. And I feel like that shifted things in a good way. But also I was like, like it was a lot. Like I just felt like, okay, I have so many eyes on me now. Like I need to, you know. That's what's so great about this program in general. It's like so many different cultures and like accents even. And it's like, no, it's just so being able to be exposed to that. And, and you meet like your so, like, you meet like your soulmates here. Like, right. if you have like, like literally me and Samara. Yeah. Like we've known each other for like two months. That's two crazy. Months. <laughs> that's my best. Yeah. Like that's so crazy. You know, like you just like click with people. Ladies. Hey. How are you? Hi, hi, hi. How are you? So I wanted to come and eat with you, but I already ate. But I thought there'd be something even more fun. I'm gonna go watch and hype in right now. <gasps> so you guys are all coming with me to go. <laughs> and walk out of their van. We just saw their backs saw, were beautiful. I saw Nikki's blonde hair. And they were in suits. And they're so tall. I, I literally just, levitated. Just, this is like crazy. And okay. then we're gonna get the criminal love. I thought it was really cool so seeing the seraphim like talking I about know. us. Like, Say oh my name. They, they said our names and they even mentioned me too. Yeah, they said, they said the non Japanese contestant that can speak Japanese. Yeah. Fear is anti fragile don't you know how to go. I like fearless. You like yes. fearless? No, it's Singing and dancing at the same time, it's really hard. Yeah. And you yeah. have like low notes. Para que un equipo funcione, un team, es importante que todos seamos responsables y que estemos dispuestos a darlo todo, a trabajar duro y estar dispuestos a hacer sacrificios. And then also, like, I just think this team very much gives fearless. Like, Ua is also very much like, Ua, yeah, like yeah. that. I do think that with this new voting system of like averaging the team votes it's not gonna help if one person skyrockets and the other is just floating it's way better if we're all at a really good level we all including mano have this like <laughs> yes, very nervous. Project de Kankoku ni kite mo, wata minna ga nattaku iku yo ni motta ganbaritai na to. That's so jenny. <laughs> I think Celeste would be really good at this part. Actually, yeah. Vocally, the strongest is Azrella, especially like um, while dancing, and I look up to her actually for that. 
for this group, I have been a leader in the dance part of it. Yeah, Danny is very young Jin. <laughs> yes. I would want to be Chaewon or Young Jin because I really like Young Jin's high note when she sings. But dance wise, I really like Chaewon. Team and all my but like Emma. Flawless. Flawless? Why? Because we're fearless and flawless. Does that sound like a team name? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, come on, you come up with one. I like flawless. Really you like flawless? Yes, flawless. She likes flawless? Are you sure? No. You guys are being fearful right now. No. It's being flawful. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's really bad. How about VBS? <laughs> VBS with flawless. Hey, I like that. Okay. VBS with flawless. We're a really good team. I yes. feel like we're gonna. No, we got this. And we're doing fearless. Yesterday was our first training day and already it just feels so productive. We've been training for so long and this feels like a different kind of training in a way. Like it feels like a leveled up version of training. I feel like it's exciting finally doing vocal and dancing. So it's gonna be so fun like actually putting it together. Vocal and dance same time is so hard. Yes. yes. But hard. so excited because I love the song. Mm, what you yeah. watch? Look at that! And I feel like our team bound is really good. Mm. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like we can find True. like a different way to interpret the song. I feel like anybody is at risk for elimination. It's not like the lowest skilled dancers or singers. Like the elimination kind of shook everyone up, but we're still like in it. We're still in the competition. We we are Tima is very very good. Yes. yes. So I kind of came up with the group name. <laughs> So we're the bum bunnies. You know how the song starts with bum, 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 bunnies. We are all our own original bunny. Fluffy bunny. Strawberry bunny. Unny bunny. Unny bunny. Baby bunny. Baby bunny. Crazy bunny. Bum, 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 Big shout out to May over here. This girl literally just started learning English. Yeah. And not only can she speak yeah. Japanese, but she can speak Korean mm. and yeah. English. Yeah. So this girl has been a lifesaver in our rehearsals. I was a lot of fun, but now I'm so happy and I feel like my friends and I feel like I'm so happy to be like I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm still happy to be like that, but I'm still worried about it. But I'm still happy to be like my friends and team workers. 하기 때문에 네 경연까지는 약간 연습을 많이 해야 되겠지만 그래도 그렇게 많은 걱정은 없어요. 할수 있다. 진짜 노래 진짜 잘해요. 그러니까 춤도 할수 있다. Thank you. <웃음> It's giving now for that part. You. you. Yeah. May. You. I mean, in the chorus. Maxim. So oh, I'm so happy we're doing this. Yeah. Some <웃음> bunnies on three. One, two, three. I think the member that I would be most concerned about would probably be Manon. She is one of the people that hasn't come to rehearsals at all or even sometimes when we are in rehearsal it can just like a lot of the notes sometimes don't get applied straight away so that sometimes can be concerning. Embrasse-moi quand tu voudrais un bras, embrasse-moi. Hello. Je me que Embrasse-moi quand tu voudrais. Embrasse-moi quand tu voudrais. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I haven't had my piano here, so I haven't been able to practice at all. So I'm, it's gotten so bad. Anyways, I'm so tired. I was concerned about myself for a hot minute because I, I was sick and I was like, felt bad because I wasn't able to practice with them. But I'm healthy again and I'm trying to give it my best. Keep going. One, two, one. More time. Sorry. No, you're good. Your focus is getting a bit too up here. Two, three, four. 우선 정말 생각지도 못한 친구들이 떨어져서 너무 놀랬고 없는 시. I don't know what it is that you.
일단 또 정말 아 이게 정말 오디션 프로그램이구나 라는 것도 느꼈고 Do it. 이게 진짜 현실이구나를 너무 진짜 딱 약간 맞은 느낌이 들어서 정말 열심히 해야겠다 그리고 기회는 정말 또올 수도 있지만 이런 기회는 처음이자 마지막이기 때문에 절대 포기하지 않고 정말 열심히 해서 좋은 성과를 거둬야겠다는 생각이 더 들었습니다. うまなチーム力は怪我や都合などでメンバーが全員揃っていない時が多いのでメンバーが揃っていないとフリも立ち位置もバラになってわからなくなってしまうので今は少しチームのチーム力が足りないと思いますなのでこれからは5人でいっ
Oh my god, it's actually happening. Rooftop so shoot! The view is so pretty. The view is amazing. Yeah. That is the Namsan Tower. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing good. I am out of breath though, so it is a little tricky with the vocals and the dancing, but I'm having a lot of fun. I'm definitely giving my best, so I'm proud. But I can push a little harder. I'm a little bit tired, but you know, I keep pushing and I keep working hard because I want this. To look good. I was feeling a little bit weak because of the height. You wanna eat a snack or something? No, I'm okay. Maybe it's the height of the building. Mm. I feel like weak. But I'm feeling much better right now and I'm really happy to be here. Um, great job. Woo! Great job, ladies. The way I'm pretty confident the about it. I feel like and the hard work. Like you know, these girls are really talented it. too, and I wish I could watch them. And you kill it. Oh my god! You ready? So I was a little scared because I'm scared of heights, but the view is so nice. This so is a it's dream. <laughs> Good job, Niall. I'm a little tired, but it was a lot of takes, but it was really fun because I'm like a perfectionist, so I love doing it like so we get like the yes. perfect take. I hope we take this. <laughs> it's over, which is kind of sad, but it's great. And I feel good, and it was fun. And look where we are. We're in Korea. This is literally amazing. I feel like my team, the Bum Bunnies, because that's what we are, we did really good. And we had a whole little like team discussion beforehand of like, we're, we got this, and as long as we put all of our training hours into everything that we record tonight, we'll be set. And I think we did. I think we did that. Strawberry bunny. Her vocal can be here today. Okay, you ate so hard. And her dancing. <laughs> And her outfit, and her hair, and her makeup, yes. superstar. Well, on a helicopter, I've bed. been on like a helicopter, like rooftop thingy. <laughs> it was super slippery, so that was really hard because it's like this. I think the last place I thought we would film this was here, and like I'm kind of afraid of heights. <laughs> My yeah, picture. Oh. Take a picture. Oh. No, I'm like that. Let's start with him. Said our name. I got, I'm like, like, no. Man, I got your hand. Goosebumps. Please. that we got a sign up song. I feel like it really like fits all of yes, our vibes. vibes. We were assigned Anti-Fragile by the Seraphim, which I love the song, but the dance is definitely difficult. Yeah. Me and Sophia, our strength is vocal, y'all strength is yeah. dance. So can... When it comes to vocal and dance, I feel like obviously me and Yunche did OMG for Mission 1 and we got to showcase our dance strength and Lara and Sophia got to showcase their vocal strength. It's like one has more dance strength and one has more vocal strength. I'm a little like, nervous honestly, just because Anti-Fragile is such a hard song. It's really and dance fast. And so much like energy. No breaks. I think we should start doing our dance conditioning and warm-ups and our vocal conditioning like at, the same yeah. time. at the same yeah. time so that our yeah. body gets mm -hmm. used to using all these muscles. Definitely concerned about myself because the last thing I would want to do is hold my group back or bring them down. And I'm so, so grateful and I'm so blessed to have these three girls as my group members because they're so hardworking. <laughs> For me, I've kind of taken that role of being the dance leader in our group. I think we're gonna need every detail to like lead us for yeah, dancing. For sure. I think that's such an advantage for us, like having you in the group. Yeah, girl, we trust you. Yeah, so Sophia. Have to have this, this is it. it. So right you, after. Can, you would do that. Oh. Yeah. 또 나는 뭔가 하나의 특별한 딱 강점이 없는 것 같아서 그런 김에 그냥 다방면으로 다 잘하는 모습을 보여줄 수 있도록. 엔지티, 엔지티, 따이다. 엔지티, 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 엔지티. 안 뒤쪽에는 이미야, 칼리, 사마라.
매일만 참가자입니다. Honestly, honestly, when I saw that there was two options, I was like, I really want anti-fragile because I love fearless too, but there's something about the energy. I really love anti-fragile because I feel like it shows all of my charms, which is my charms are all over the place. And I feel like the song is all over the place in a good way. I think I'm scared of stamina because it's such like a crazy dance and it's like high energy the entire time. And we're going to have to be singing and dancing it. Mission one was solely dancing and now we're going to be singing and dancing and I'm already not as strong in singing than dancing so I would love to focus on my singing. The four of us haven't really danced together. Yes. yes. Which I'm also excited about because mm -hmm. yes. this is a yeah, good, me too. This is a good mix of people. We have never danced with Samara ever. Three of us already danced together so Megan, Carly and me and we've never sang with Megan together. I'm concerned about Samara the most because she joined this program more recent than me, Ilya, and Megan have. She still struggles a lot with dance details, but I'm also not concerned about her because she's such a hard worker. Our vibes are totally like on the different ends of the spectrum, but mm -hmm. like in a way they complement each other. Yeah, they complement. It's going to be a really incredible blend. It is kind of something that we need to work on and something to get used to. Who's taking what part? I really Who's want to be in chair. Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah. I love the lion part. Yeah, I mm. could mm. go for a cousin. Oh, yeah. oh. I think I could go for like Che Wong because she's like singing the most. Ooh. Like, oh. Right now I'm just trying to focus on dance. Like dancing is more important for this mission. So I'm hoping like to focus on that and be good at it, like dancing and singing at the same time. I, I like that. Okay, what about you, have Carly? always been a fan of Miss Young Young Jin. Jin. She's mothering. And I think there's a lot of like lines, body mm -hmm. rolls, chest width. Yeah, chest width. I agree. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I made up something. <laughs> That's not a thing. It's only this. <laughs> oh gosh. Ati ti 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 fragile, fragile. Fragile. You gotta go. You gotta go. Ati ti 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 fragile. Ati ti 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 fragile, fragile. Wait, it needs some practice. Five, six, and seven, eight, and eh, 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 many. I think the most important thing to have a successful team is definitely the chemistry. I feel like my group, I'm very, very lucky because I feel like we all have a very strong bond and our chemistry works very, very well together. It's just the going into the underestimate. Yeah. Get, get, like, let it, exhale into Yeah. It. Exhale in as, a, as part, the breath is part of the journey. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Five and a six. For dance, I've been taking the leadership role. It was kind of hard for me to step into that role because I'm younger and I'm not confrontational and I don't like telling people what to do. But it all comes from a place of love and coming from a place of I want everyone to get better and everyone to be on the same page. So I think just taking the responsibility has really paid off for me and the team. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. It's really tough. We get no days off. We rarely get breaks, we get no free time, and we get a gigantic jet lag. But it's not impossible, we're gonna work on it, and uh, we're gonna do it the best we can. It's okay, it's okay, you're doing great. You're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing for good. Real. For real. Okay. Formation changes. Yes. I swear, I'm gonna try my best. Like, no, okay, yes. we're all stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> we're all, no, this no, is no. on us inside right now. We're like, oh, one no. week. I cried yesterday about this. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just giving you more tools and tips and hacks. Thank you so much. Let's do this. Yes. We're jet lag, we're tired. I know. <laughs> we're tired, yes, we're all tired. Our dancers are the most strong ones. I think I'm the most strong one at the moment. I'm so scared. I want to do it like that. Sophia is the most strong one. I think I was just set further back. So usually I just go like this. But it's time to go. Mm. Like I had to Oh, I think Emily, being our top dancer, she had the most strength and the most stamina. So it was about all of us 
getting up to her level and then going up even more together. I've been making moves like a queen check, babe. Yeah. Like you know my name. Um, it's better. Does that feel better? Yeah, it does. At one, at two. During mission one, I ranked 18th. That shot me down so much harder than I thought it would. When you see how hard you've worked and to see yourself rank that low is one of the most discouraging emotions I can't even describe. And then I came to Korea and magic happened. Just being in Korea and being in this training building and seeing other trainees has like boosted me so much harder. I'm in Korea. I'm in Korea. <laughs> We're gonna do some of those jumping jacks and we're gonna sing and we're gonna get this stuff down. We're gonna kill it. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Behind me, I'm here in the chit chat. Behind me, I'm here, behind me. I'm like concerned for mission two because nothing's ever good enough for me. It has to be better. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I have to just keep trying and not overthink it. I think I'm really overthinking everything. Maybe that's the trick. This is not overthink it. Tomorrow we have six hours of practice. Eight. 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 Singing your lines. Ah, get rid of that G. <laughs> Singing. I'm just practicing every awakening hour. We don't have a lot of time to practice because we're just in a really busy schedule right now, but I'm just practicing like as much as I can and going over the details because that's the most important thing right now. Singing. That's it. Yeah. That Singing your lines like a symphony. I'll take yeah. it. I went to the doctor's office this morning and I checked my vocal cords and I have reflux laryngitis, so everything's really inflamed and like not working with me. And we're filming mission two in two days. And I'm really nervous about that, but can't be helped, right? We have to keep pushing. Keep fragile. I feel like my biggest strength is I'm a great listener. I also try my best to not take things personally. One of my biggest weaknesses is like cleanliness while dancing. <laughs> I definitely think my biggest strength is being so giving with how much knowledge I have about something, for example, vocals. I think I care so much that I just want to share everything and say all my thoughts. Baby, I'm on my way. Better. I'll be making moves like a queen chaplain. We work hard, play hard. Like, we're serious yeah. and we need to be. We have a lot of fun here. Local yeah, yeah. Local. we're a little goofy. <laughs> We need to make a team name! Oh, nice! Slay with me! Slay with me! With an access name! Slay! Slay! Let's go, girls! Let's go! I'm still really not that confident in my singing sometimes because I'm a dancer first, but I think I made really good progress with it. How can we do? Yeah! I literally yanked you. You. Well, it's because of the thing, like, it was like, yeah, I had to pull you. Huh? <laughs> the last day of doing anti fragile. The set is crazy, and I heard that it's haunted. I feel like it's definitely like the anti fragile vibe. I'm so happy with the outfit and the makeup. I know that I have so much more to work on, so I really wish that I could be that full potential. But I think that all my hard work collectively as a group, I think we've reached our maximum potential with what we can do today. A lot of my confidence comes from them. We need to go to the whole building. And show them Helen. We have to show you hair. We, we found someone. So Helen's over here. Helen! Okay, okay, so this is Helen. If you stand right here, you can see that she looks straight into your she eyes. Is like right, right here. At like you. right at you. <laughs> she looks straight at you. But you have to make sure she's looking at the camera. <laughs> this dance it was like a breakthrough for us. It was a breakthrough. Was. And we and now did it's done. It was, it was really fun. I felt like such a pop star. You can get overwhelmed. Like some people would get overwhelmed, some people wouldn't with all these hands on you. Like one person like fixing your clothes, one person with their hand like up your shirt, like wiping no, your sweat. I love it. I'm glad that I was grouped with these girls. Me like, too. Me too. It's still true. Me too. We'll always slay. Always. We'll always slay. Future, future, future slay group. Slay group, slay Sophia, group. Lara, Emily, Yunche. Y'all better be slay even harder than we did today. Yes. Remember this? Yeah. Keep this going building, up. this moment. Never it changed forget. your life. I need to push harder, I need to do more and always like give my best and just enjoy like the moment as much as I can because it goes by so quickly and you never know what can happen. I'm just like on the moment and 
trying not to think about the future and just like giving my best right now. I feel really great. It's a great challenge. I believe in my girls. I know we're pretty stressed out because a lot of things are changing and we have to be strong and we have to be flexible. Every single girl works so freaking hard. This is what the mission is for. We're, we're gonna see who's very strong. Make 
That was Fearless Team B. Now, next up, let's bring up Anti-Fragile Team A to the stage. Bring up to the stage Fearless Team A. 다음엔 Fearless Team A를 무대로 초대하겠습니다. But not least, here's Anti Fragile Team B. 마지막으로 Anti Fragile Team B의 무대를 보겠습니다. Anti 
My name is Brooklyn Van Zant. I'm 17 years old from Mansfield, Texas, and I started modeling when I was six months old and have done competitive track and soccer for eight years. Hi, my name is Celeste Diaz. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Argentina. I'm Megan Scandell. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I started dancing when I was three years old and started singing when I was eight. Hello, my name is Lexi. I'm 19 years old. I'm born and raised in Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm a motivated hard worker that will do anything to accomplish what my heart desires. My name is Sophia. I'm 20 years old from the Philippines, and I got my love for food and performance from my parents. My mom is a performing artist, and my dad is a chef. 안녕하세요. 저는 정민채입니다. 저는 15살이고 서울에서 왔습니다. Hi, I'm Marquis or Mornrat. I'm 17 years old. I grew up in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm an only child and I grew up doing artsy activities like singing, dancing, drawing, and ice skating. Hi, I'm Laura Raj. I'm 17 years old. I'm from LA and I started singing when I was five. Hi, my name is May. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Japan. Hi. My name is Yi Mayang. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Korea. Hi, my name is Ilya. I'm from Belarus. I'm 21 years old. I'm a singer, songwriter, and now a dancer. Music is my life. I am Israela Abraham. I'm 20 years old. I'm Indian, and I'm from Australia. People tell me I'm a very expressive person, and I can be very awkward, but in a very funny way. I'm Samara. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Brazil. Um, I'm a person who likes to appreciate the small things of life, like the sunset and the sunrise. Hi, my name is Manon. I'm 21 years old, born and raised in Switzerland. I taught myself how to play the piano and the ukulele, and I like to sing. Hi, my name is Daniela Avanzini. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm very compassionate and very loud and hyper. Hi, I'm Emily Colavos. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I've been dancing since the age of like four, I think. And ever since then, I've been obsessed with performing. Hey, I'm Carly Tanaka. I'm 19 years old. I'm Korean and Japanese, born and raised from Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm an emotional, loud girl who loves to talk. My role model is Taylor Swift. She's actually the one that made me want to pursue music. Ariana Grande.
I would be a wild royal cat with big claws and shiny sparkly eyes. Um, I definitely would be a wolf because they're a symbol of like strength, loyalty, wisdom, determination, and bravery, so it's real inspiring. Um, this might sound funny, but I'd probably be a frog because I think they're just so bubbly and bright and energetic, and that's definitely me. If I could only say one word, it would be excellent. I don't want to describe something as good or great. I want to say, this is excellent. My one word would be slay. Word. <laughs> I always say word. I feel like it's the, it's the best answer. Like when someone asks you something, you can just be like, word. I would say, huh? Just because I say it all the time and I think it's really funny and weird. That's a hard one. I feel like sleep because after a full day of practice, I just want to sleep. Because I love food way too much. I could never give it up. I would choose to go to sleep because you have no idea how passionate I am about sleep. I would go and check on everyone and see how they're feeling and hype them up and then I would also eat some candy. 목 풀고, 몸 풀고, 긴장 풀고, 목 풀고, 몸 풀고, 긴장 풀고를 반복할 것 같습니다. I would stay warm, do some vocal straw work, and have some fun to set the vibe. Probably just like getting myself together, calming myself down, and just telling myself, you know what, they'll do great. For my authenticity and being genuine. My voice, my professionalism, and my creativity. I definitely want to be most known for my fun personality and my kindness and my unique character and as an iconic Asian American singer and performer. I want to be known for representing my people and breaking boundaries for them. And I want people to feel super confident, empowered, and like the best version of themselves when they watch me perform. I want to be remembered as someone who made a positive impact and someone who proved people that you can make it no matter what. I want to be most known for my stage performances and how I always stay true to myself. Changing people's lives and inspiring the world. My star quality and my outgoing personality. Um, as someone honest, humble, and brave. I want to be known for being a genuine and loving person. I want to be known for my work ethic and my positive personality, and I want to inspire everyone around the world to chase their dreams. I would like to be most known for lighting up a room and being a ball of energy. I want to be most known for making people smile. I want people to say, Ezrella, she was a lovely person. I want to be most known for my stage presence and my personality off stage. My name is Alex Kang, today's host, and I'm really honored to welcome everyone to Dream Academy's Break Time. Today, Dream 안내 말씀 드리고 시작을 할것 같아요. 어, 오늘 아쉽게도 윤채 씨와 우아 씨는 캘리포니아 노동 규정에 따라 어, 일정 운영에 어려움이 있어 공연 이후 토크는 어, 함께 참여하지 못할 예정입니다. 어, 너무 아쉽게 됐고요. Um, so unfortunately, uh, due to California labor laws for minors, uh, Yunche and Ua are only able to join us for a limited time and will not be joining us for the rest of the meet and greet. Mm. They will be dearly missed. Right, guys? 네. 아, 자, 그럼 인사부터 자, 각자 전 단체 소개로 팬분들께 인사 한번 해보겠습니다. Like, we'll say hello to the fans. We all together. No, no, no just say all together. <laughs> Hi. 
아, 네. 그러면 저희 남아 있는 절끼리 바로 시작을 해 볼게요. Before we bring out the Academy Dream Academy contestants, um, we're going to go introduce from Celeste. Here we go. Hi, I'm Celeste. <웃음> 안녕하세요. 저는 에즈렐라이라고 합니다. Hello, my name is Isrella. <웃음> What's up, y'all? I'm Mano, nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Daniela Avanzini. Hi, my name is Emily Calavos. Hi, my name is Sofia La Forteza. Hi, I'm Lara Raj. Hi, I'm Carly. Hi, my name is Edia. Hi, my name is Samara. Hi, I'm Megan Skindel. Hi, I'm Marquis. Hi, everyone. I'm Brooklyn Van Zandt. Hi, I'm Nayeong. 안녕하세요. 저는 나영입니다. Hi, I'm Lexi. 안녕하세요. 저는 May입니다. Hi, I'm May. 네, 제 참가자분들 환영합니다. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Welcome to Korea. 열심히 미션 2를 끝마치고 어, 또 소규모 팬 미팅을 통해 어, 팬들과 소통 그리고 잠깐의 휴식 시간을 가지려고 합니다. Um, 자, 그럼 이제 바로 팬 Q&A를 진행해 볼 텐데요. 어, 진행하기 전에 사전에 저희가 팬분들에게 질문을 많이 받았는데 어, 질문들을 많이 해주셨어요. 어떤 질문을 해주셨는지 볼까요? So two weeks ago, uh, we collected questions from fans via Weavers, um, and today we'll ask each contestant uh, selected questions from their fans. 자 처음부터 let's start with Celeste. Celeste부터 시작해 볼게요. 네, Celeste 씨 가장 좋아하는 라틴 아티스트가 누굴까요? Okay, so who's your favorite Latin artist? So I think. My favorite Latin artist is Timmy. She's an Argentinian artist. I think she's so amazing. I love her dancing. Her personality is so lovely, and her voice is like so beautiful. And I think, yeah, she is and was an inspiration for so many girls in Argentina, and I think Latin America in general, because yeah, she's like you know such an inspiration, and I love her so much. That's amazing. Oh, 자 아르헨티나 아티스트 티니님을 좋아하신대요. 어 티니님 들어보신 분 없으실 텐데, 뭐 저도 보다 더 훌륭한 아티스트가 되시면 좋겠습니다. I'm going to have to look her up and listen to her some of her songs because hope you become an amazing artist like her. Yeah. Alright. 그럼 다음에 에즈렐라 씨한테 물어볼게요. 어 에즈렐라 씨가 가지 문화적 특성들을 아티스트가 된다면. 어, 어떻게 반영하고 싶으신가요? Azrella, what's an aspect from your culture that you like to incorporate into your uh, perform art artist persona? I think from my Indian culture, I would really like to incorporate the Indian music. Growing up, I was really inspired by Bollywood music and I loved it so much and it inspired me to become the person I am. So when I make music in the future as an artist, I want to incorporate Indian instrumentals and melodies and that's the sort of music I want to create because it inspired me so much. That's amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to hear your music. Yeah. 어 그러면 어렸을 때 발리우드를 보면서 영감을 되게 많이 받았다고 해요. 그리고 아티스트가 되면 어 인도 음악과 특유의 사운드를 반영하고 싶다고 하시네요. 너무 멋지네요. 네 그럼 마노님, 자이 프로젝트를 시작하기 전에 있어서. 앞서서 가장 걱정이 되었던 부분이 있다면, Mano, were you biggest, uh, what were your biggest fears about starting this project? Um, I think when I first started, I was a little worried about my skill set because I haven't been professionally trained vocally or dance-wise, so I was worried about that. But I knew that they saw my potential and how hard I worked, so um, I found peace in that. It's amazing how far you've come, like without any, like you know, professional vocal, vocal or dance training prior to this project. Yeah. 씨는 전문적인 보컬이나 춤 트레이닝이 다른 참가자들에 비해 
없으셔서 많이 어려웠다 어려웠다고 어, 말씀하시네요. 근데 정말 대단하지 않나요? 그렇죠. 그리고 다음 질문은 어, 다니엘라 씨에게 드려보도록 하겠습니다. 어, 쉬는 시간은 주로 어떻게 보내시냐는 질문인데, 어, next question is for Daniela. What would you like to do in your free time? During my free time, I love doing like self care. So like skin care, massages, Epsom salt baths. Um, and I like to read books too, and sometimes I meditate. And I also like to do self-practice on my dancing and vocals at home or at the studio. Love your self-care routine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to guess your, some of your tips. <laughs> 마사지랑 명상까지 그리고 자기 관리를 어, 되게 열심히 하시는데요. 어, 춤과 보컬 연습도 그렇고 그리고 아티스트로서 정말 중요한 요소들을 많이 챙기고 계신 것 같습니다. 네. 그리고 에밀리 씨 물어볼게요. Comes to Emily. 어린 나이에 춤을 시작하는 댄서들에게 하고 싶은 조언이 있다면, uh, Emily, what's uh, what's some what are some of the advices would you give to dancers starting at your age? Mm. I think something about dance and music that's really cool is that it's never too late to start, and it's very universal. And I think that's something that's really cool about Dream Academy is that we're from all around the world, but we share that passion. And I think it's never too late to find your passions. I think finding your passion is one of the most exciting and rewarding moments you'll ever get in your life. So if anyone tries to knock you down, don't let them because you're the most important part of your story. So if you love it, then please, please, please pursue it. Please, please, please pursue it. Yes, I love it. Emily 씨는 어, 늦은 시작이 존재하지 않는다고 말씀을 해주셨어요. 그리고 춤에 대한 열정만 있다면 언제든 배우기 늦지 않다고 시작하라고 하시네요. 그리고 에밀리에게 편지를 쓴 팬분도 동기가 동기 부여가 되셨던 답변이길 바랍니다. 네. Next up, we have Sophia. Wow. <웃음> 소피아 씨께 드릴 질문은 어, 인트로 영상에서 노래를 세살 때부터 하셨다고 하셨거든요. 근데 노래는 누구한테 배웠고 그리고 배운 계기가 어떻게 되는지. So, Sophia, you mentioned in your introduction video um, that uh, you started in singing when you were only three years old. And who taught you and who inspired you? I think my biggest inspirations growing up in terms of performance and singing and dancing are definitely my parents. My mom sang to me a lot growing up and my dad used to dance and so he did a lot of silly dances with me and my older brother and now with my younger brother. Music was always playing in my house and so I think that's really what fueled my passion and kept me driven up to this day. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. What a talented family. 네, 어릴 때 어머니는 어, 노래를 자주 해주셨고 아버지는 소피아의 오빠랑 어린 소피아 씨랑 춤추는 걸 되게 즐겼다고 해요. 네. 그리고 라라 씨, 라라 씨. 오케이, okay, so 라라 씨 질문하겠습니다. 어린 시절 본인에게 하고 싶은 조언이 있다면, uh, how do you stay motivated? Um, I think my drive and passion for music is definitely the biggest way I stay motivated and show up every day. Um, even when it gets super hard and I'm super tired and exhausted and I just want to sleep, I still want to show up because I just love music and I love what I do and it doesn't feel like work. Um, I also think it's really important to have something outside of your work that you do that you can decompress. Um, for me, it's music production. I go home and I make beats all the time and that makes me feel super connected to myself and very relaxed and keeps me very motivated. That's so cool. Making music is amazing. 어 그리고 음악에 대한 열정과 자기를 사랑하는 마음이 되게 크시고요. 그리고 아무리 힘들어도 또 좋아하는 일을 할 때는 기분이 좋으니까 계속 열심히 어, 임하게 된다고 하시네요. 그럼 이제 칼리 님으로 넘어가 볼까요? 네. 자, 그러면 칼리 님은 어린 시절 본인에게 하고 시, 어, 하고 싶은 어, 조언이 있다면 Question for you, Carly. What advice would you give to your younger self? I would say that putting yourself first isn't a selfish thing to do. I would tell her that even if it might feel selfish, it's not. And I tend to put other people before myself. And in doing that, you sacrifice a lot of yourself. And so I would tell her, don't do that. You're not a bad person for putting yourself first. It's your life. It's your choice, your decisions. and you live life the way you want to live it. I would say that. Yeah, uh, yes, it's, not, it's always not a bad thing to put yourself first. Yeah. 
네, 본인을 우선시하는 것을 좀더 익숙해졌으면 좋겠다고 하시네요. 본인을 우선시하는 것이 전혀 이기적인 일이 아니고 아주 멋진 조언이라는 거 말씀해 주셨습니다. 네. Right, next up, we have Ilya. <웃음> 네, 일리아님은 나중에 어떤 컨셉에 그룹에 합류가 되었으면 하는지 궁금한데요. Ilya, I'm curious to, as to uh, what type of group and concept you like to explore in the future as an artist. Ooh, I love this question. Okay, so I think I would want a group who is not afraid to change the world through meaningful and catchy songs and amazing colorful music videos. And a group that aims to be perfect and the, their best version of themselves, but who are also not afraid to be vulnerable and open about their insecurities. The vulnerability is so important, yes. 네. 세상에 좋은 메시지를 던지고 최고를 향한다. 그리고 하나부터 열까지 완성도가 높은 아티스트 그, 그런 아티스트가 되고 싶군요. 그죠? 네, 맞아요. <웃음> 네, 꾸준, 꾸준히 성장하여 성숙한 아티스트가 되시길 간절히 바랍니다. 네. 자, 그럼 사마라 씨 넘어가 볼게요. 헬로 사마라. 네, 평소에 책 읽는 것을 좋아하는 걸로 아는데 추천하는 책이 있나요? So, I've noticed you read a lot of books and can you recommend, recommend me some of the favorite books? Sure. Um... I think my favorite book is The Sun Does Shine by Anthony Ray Eaton, and it's a true story. And I feel like this book taught me that even though you're going through hard moments and it feels impossible and everybody can take everything from you, the only thing that nobody can take away from you is hope. So that's a choice of yours. And yeah, it just taught me to keep faith in God in myself and never lose hope. That's amazing. Thank you so much. 네, 어, 정말 책을 좋아하시는 분인 것 같습니다. 그리고 사마라 씨의 성격과 굉장히 잘 어울리는데요. Um, I love how diverse uh, your selections are and great to see you still setting aside the time to read. I know you're busy. Thank you. 네, 그럼 저 메간 님으로 넘어가 볼게요. 메간 님은 가장 처음 배운 K-pop 안무가 뭐였나요? What's your first uh, ever K-pop choreography um, you learned? Oh my gosh. Um, I think the first ever K-pop choreography I've learned was Run BTS by BTS. Um, you know, I've always been super, super intrigued by like their dance moves and like their really cool choreographies. And BTS was the first ever K-pop group I was ever introduced to. So, and also Run BTS is also like my favorite song by them. So I just knew I had to learn it. That's so cool. Uh, the the BTS members are amazing dancers, and their choreo is next level. I know, I get it. 그리고 당년 달려라 방탄을 처음 배우셨다고 하시는데요. 어 그리고 처음 배운 안무이기도 하고 BTS의 최애곡이라고도 말씀해주셨습니다. Alright, next up, Marky. 네, Marky 씨 그리고 드림 아카데미에 합격됐을 때 기분이 어땠어요? 어 Marky, how did you feel when you got selected to be part of the Dream Academy? Well, when I first got notified that I'd be accepted to the Dream Academy, I felt so excited. I felt so extremely lucky, and this is such a special opportunity to me. And as soon as I got accepted, I knew I had to do my best. Amazing, amazing. We're so lucky to have you. Thank you, Marky. 네, 그러면 브루클린 씨 질문 드리겠습니다. 네. I have a question uh, for Brooklyn. How, how long have you been playing guitar and how did you start it? So I actually started playing piano at eight years old and I started writing my own songs and I fell in love with it. And I knew that I needed to learn guitar so that I could start writing different types of songs and learn as many instruments as I can. So on my 13th birthday, I finally got a guitar and I have been teaching myself ever since and I've been loving it. Wow, teaching yourself, teaching yourself to play the guitar like that's amazing. 여덟 살에 피아노를 처음으로 접하셨고 그 이후에는 작곡을 시작하면서 열세 살에 기타까지 어 진짜 어린 나이부터 기타에 대한 엄청난 독학이라니 대단하십니다. 네 그럼 나영 씨 질문해 볼게요. 참가자 친구들과 프로그램을 같이 하면서 가장 감동받았거나 기억에 남는 순간이 있어요? 잠깐만요. 나영, what's a memorable moment you had with the fellow contestants in Dream Academy? 
어, 아무래도 다 같이 퍼포먼스를 해나가는 과정 그리고 솔로를 했을 때 확실히 더 재밌고 그 감정들을 서로 공유한다는 점에서 저는 아 나는 혼자가 아니구나 라는 생각이 들었고 또더 의지가 됐고 모든 게 약간 추억이 되고 저한테 잊지 못할 경험 뜻비, 뜻깊은 시간이었습니다. 아, 네 감사합니다. 나영 씨가 솔로로 활동하신 경험이 있으셔가지고 어 그러니까 그룹으로 활동하면서 새로운 모습을 보게 될수 있었던 게 되게 너무 보기 좋네요. 네 많은 추억 쌓고 가시기 바랍니다. 네. 네. 그럼 렉시님 주로 어떤 트랙을 프로듀싱 하나요? 평소 즐겨 듣는 음악과 차이점이 있나요? Uh, Lexi, what tracks do you usually produce? Is it different than uh, from the music that you usually listen to? Um, I would say it's pretty similar to the music I listen to on a daily basis. Um, I love trying new things out and not stick to one specific style. But I would definitely say that the music I like to produce these days is very XG, It's the Twice and Stray Kids inspired. Um, and I love to put some new jeans in there. And I, I love to always put some Latin and Middle Eastern beats in there as well. So Wow, Middle yeah. Eastern beats. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. <laughs> It's the Twice, 그리고 Stray Kids, 그리고 New Jeans에게 영감을 되게 많이 받았다고 하시는데요. 프로듀싱 실력 많이 기대하도록 하겠습니다. 그리고 마지막으로 메이 씨 질문 드리겠습니다. 네. 메이 씨는 가장 좋아하는 스타일의 춤은 무엇인가요? What is your favorite style of dance or your favorite song to dance to? 네, 저는 처음부터 K-pop 스타일 엄청 좋아했거든요. 어, 어렸을 때부터 트는 거도 좋고 보는 거도 좋고 노래하는 거도 좋고 춤추는 거도 좋아해요. 그 특히 저는 바른 노래, 그 여름 여름 느낌 나는 노래가 좋아합니다. 네, 아 여름 느낌, 아 메이 씨의 밝은 에너지랑 너무 잘 어울리는 것 같습니다. May says she enjoys K-pop dance style the most, and she always has loved the dance, uh, loved and danced uh, to it is since it, she was a little girl, and she enjoys dancing to up tempo and summer like tempo songs. Ah, 자 이제 내 참가자분들 너무 감사합니다. Thank you, everyone. Like thank you all, the contestants, for answering the questions very thoroughly. I really appreciate you. Yes. 되게 정성스럽게 답변 주셔서 팬분들이 이제 조금 궁금증이 조금 풀리셨나 싶은데 어떠세요? 네, 감사합니다. 네. 그러면 자 다음 넘어가 볼 건데 그 선물 타임이 있어요. 선물 타임이 있는데 to thank all the fans um, who showed up today, we'll give two special fans and the but two pros. 상, 어, 삼성 팀께서 버즈 2 프로를 지원해 주셨거든요. 네, 그래서. 랜덤 추첨을 통해서 어, 두 분께 어, 선물로 드리려고 합니다. 네, 자 그러면 어, 드림 아카데미 여러분 두 분께서 뽑아주시면 될것 같은데, 네, 칼리랑 라라 씨, 네, 1에서 100까지 번호를 그냥 얘기해 주시면 될것 같아요. <웃음> Lara, pick a random number from 1 to 100, and Carly, same thing, please. <웃음> Putting you on the spot. 3. 네, 3번 결정하셨고요. Carly. 55. 55번 55 결정하셨습니다. 3번과 55번 축하드립니다. 그리고 행사 종료 후 입구에서 선물 수령할 수 있도록 안내 드릴게요. Uh, number uh, 3 and number 55. Congratulations. After the event, uh, please meet our staff members at the uh, entrance to grab your gift, please. Thank you. 네, 그리고 이제 현장 팬 스크롤 읽기를 시작하려고 하는데요. 음, 현장에 와주신 관객분들이 어, 남겨주신 팬 스크롤을 다섯 개를 뽑아서 읽어드릴 텐데 어, 드림 아카데미 참가자분들 뽑아주시면 됩니다. So we'll now pick five random um, uh, fan scrolls that we collected at the beginning of the meet and greet uh, to be read out loud to the contestants. So we'll pick Ilya, Sophia, Samara, Emily, and Megan, could you all pick one note from this bag to read out loud?
So when one of you start, I'm like reading, and I'm gonna briefly translate into Korean. So start reading from Sophia. It's in Korean. Thank you. 알겠습니다. 제가 제가 읽겠습니다. 네. 안녕하세요. K-pop 아이돌이 되기 위해 열심히 노력하는 드림 아카데미 연습생 여러분. 한국에서 미션 수행을 위해 열심히 노력하는 여러분이 어, 여러분의 모습을 보고 큰 감동을 받았습니다. 남은 미션도 다치지 말고 수행하고 꼭 한국에서 다시 만나요. I love Dream Academy. 어, 네, 너무 감동적이에요. Like hello uh, K-pop hello guys. Um, I'm very inspired by you guys how like tr how you guys are trying to be K-pop idol and um, putting so much into this uh, project. And um, 연세 여러분 한국에서 미션 수행을 위해 열심히 노력. Um, that's basically what it is. And <laughs> 그리고 남은 미션도 다치지 말고 수행하고 꼭 한국에서 다시 만나요. So please don't get hurt from all the missions that you guys are doing, and we would love to see you back in Korea. We love you. Oh. Is yours in Korean too? Oh wow. Oh wow. All right. Let's do this. 자, 모두 데뷔해서 글로벌 걸그룹으로 성장하기를 바래요. 윤채, 사마라, 렉시, 브루클린, 다니엘라, 메이 꼭 데뷔 조에 포함되길 바랍니다. 모두 화이팅. 아, 이거 되게 사적인 내용이 많이 들어갔는데. <웃음> 어, 네. 어, 모두 데뷔해서 걸, 걸, 글로벌 걸그룹으로 성장하길 바래요. Like we we would love to see all of you to debut as a global girl group. Although, Yunche, Samara, Lexi, Brooklyn, Daniela, and May, please, please stay until until the deb uh, the, until as a debut member. Um, 모두 fighting like so fighting. fighting. Good luck, everybody. Everyone wrote it in Korean. Wow, this is amazing. <웃음> 네, 자, 드림 아카데미 참가자 친구들 한국에서 했던 무대 영상 너무 멋졌고 잘했어요. Um, did you understand? Yes. Oh my God! Wow. <웃음> um, so Dream Academy contestants, um, whatever you did in Korea, like all the missions you've done in Korea, and all the um. Uh, the stages and performances you've done in Korea and so far has been amazing and good job. 한국이라는 나라가 처음인 친구들이 대부분일 텐데 한국에서 지냈던 날들은 어땠나요? I'm sure a lot of you, uh, for a lot of you, um, the Korea is your first time. How's Korea? So good. The food is amazing. Oh wow. I love Korea. 즐겁고 행복한 시간들이 가득했길 바래요. I hope you guys had so much fun and happy like moments in Korea. 앞으로 남은 미션 무대들도 힘내고 화이팅. Um, good luck with all the other the um, all the other performance that's left out. Um, 했으면 좋겠어요. 파이널까지 어떤 참가자들이 있을지는 모르지만 여기서 데뷔를 못해도. 어, 어디서든 모두들 자신이 원하는 목표를 이룰 수 있을 거예요. 다시 한번 화이팅. Um, even if, let's say like even if you guys didn't um, debut in this group, I'm sure you guys are gonna be be able to make it into whatever you guys dream of. So 화이팅. 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 Can you pass me some more? One is in English. Yours is in English? Yes. Oh my God! Thank you. Samara, would you read it for me? Okay. Hi, it's a great pleasure to watch your wonderful performances and seeing your skill and friendship with each other. Grow with each other, grow makes me so proud and heart heartwarming. <laughs> Hope your dreams come true and enjoy your time in Korea. Love. 네, 그, 감사합니다. <laughs> 그 다들 이렇게 케미가 너무 아름답고 귀여웠다고 말씀해 주셨고요. 그리고 어, 한국에서 굉장히 재밌는 시간 잘 보내고 어, and what was the last one? Love. <웃음> Love. 네 사랑한다고 말씀하셨습니다. 네. <웃음> 아, 
자 그럼 다음 코너로 넘어가 볼 텐데요 아. 매견을 까먹었네요 아유, 매견을 까먹으면 안 되죠 자 매견 아 나빴네요 진짜 나빴습니다 네 매견 자 읽어주세요 Mine is in English Mine, Yours in English Thank you Thank you so much for that <웃음> To m a r k e e Hello, I am a fan from France, and I want to support you today. I just wanted to say thank you for being such an angel. You are truly inspiring. I remember when you used to give us advice on auditioning. Look at you now. I am so proud of you. You made it to shine on stage, and I will make sure to support you on your journey. Stay always yourself. I love you. Je t'aime. From Luna. Oh, wow. 네, 지금 프랑스에서 오신 팬분께서 마키님에게 특별히 어, 레터를 써주셨는데 어, 너무 사랑한다고 말씀하시고 항상 어, 응원하고 있다고 그리고 네, 응원하고 있다고 말씀하셨어요. 네, 네, 그 정도로 네, 넘어가도록 하겠습니다. 네. 그리고 이제 다음 코너로 넘어갈 텐데요. 이제 위버스 팬 레터 읽기라는 게 있어요. 그래서 저희 어, 라이브 스트리밍, 스트리밍으로 함께 해주신 관객분들을 위해 특별히 위버스를 통해 전 세계 팬들이 써주신 팬, 편지들을 읽어볼까 합니다. All good things must unfortunately come to an end. For our um, uh, final activity, we will now take time to read Weverse fan letters from our international fans who are tuning in via live stream. Thank you guys. Live stream. Um, so can we get um, Galaxy S8 tabs um, to the girls to check out the letters, please? So <laughs> from Celestinin. Can you read? Can read? Oh my god, this is so cute. Celeste, we love you. You're so pretty and talented. Your voice is so beautiful and you can dance very well. Keep doing your best. You will debut it. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. 자 그럼 간략하게 말해서 네 너무 예쁘고 목소리가 아름답다 라고 말씀하셨습니다. 네, 그 다음 Ezreal on you. To Ezreal. I hope that you will debut, Ezreal. Just from your first mission video, I instantly loved the way you dance. Not just dance, but the way you pour your heart and soul into dancing, OMG. Your facial expressions could literally tell what you wanted to convey and the way you had so much fun just dancing and smiling. I really hope you debut. From a South Asian girly to another. Oh, wow. 그 무대에 대한 진심이 느껴지고 또 춤이 너무 매력적이라고 말씀을 해주셨네요. 감동해요. 네, 그럼 마누님. So cute. Hey, Mano. I just want to tell you I'm so proud of you and I'm glad your health is better. Thank you. You're such an amazing girl and I'm rooting for you. I really hope you debut and make all your dreams come true. You are the best, Nans. Keep going, Nans. Fifth gen hashtag fifth generation it girl, Mano. Thank you so much. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, man. Keep going, man. <웃음> 네, 건강 회복돼서 다행이고 너무 자랑스럽다고 하셨어요. 네, 그럼 데니엘라 읽어볼게요. Hi, Daniela. I hope you are doing well. I want you to know that you are doing amazing in the Dream Academy. I love your dancing skills, even though you still have much more amazing skills to show. I know you will do a great job. You are making me proud by showing what Atlanta girls are all about. No matter where your path leads, just know that I and many others will be with you till the very end. I know it may be tough at times, but you've got this. Te amo mucho. Oh, wow. The dancing is so amazing. Atlanta citizen, so I'm so proud of you. It's so touching. Let's go to Emily. Hi, Emily. I hope that you're having a great time in Korea. I definitely am. I just wanted to let you know that you shine so brightly when you perform. You are so amazing and deserve so much love. I hope you know that a lot of people are supporting you and want you to debut. Stay healthy and safe, and I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank oh, you so wow. much. 그 무대를 볼 때마다 너무 빛나고 많이 사랑받을 자격이 있는 사람이라고 말씀해 주셨어요. 아 이건 되게 감동적이네요. 저도 약간 울컥합니다. Next up, we have Sophia. 
I'm writing this letter to you to let you know that you are not alone in this journey. Although it is just the beginning, I know you will continue to show us a unique side of you. Please take good care of yourself and eat well. Be especially healthy and happy. And no matter the outcome of this program, we will support you no matter what. So let's walk this road this so let's walk down this road together. Laban lang para sa pangarap. Thank you so much. 어, 네, 어, 진짜 감동적인 말씀이셨는데요. 항상 건강하게 지내고 어떤 결과가 있어도 응원하신다고 말씀해 주시네요. 네, Laura. I hope this letter finds you well. I came across your pre-debut videos on YouTube and I instantly became a fan. Your talent and passion for music are evident in every performance you give and it's clear that you were born to be a star. So sweet. I know that you're still working hard to make your debut and bring your music to the world, but I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how excited I am for your future. I have no doubt in my mind that you will achieve great success and make a big impact in the music industry. I look forward to the day when I can attend your concerts, buy your albums, and proudly call myself a fan. Please know that there are already many people eagerly awaiting your debut and supporting you every step of the way. Keep working hard and never give up on your dreams. You have what it takes to become a superstar, and I can't wait to see you shine. Thank you. 처음 보자마자 팬이 되었고 라라 씨의 미래가 엄청 기대된다고 말씀을 해주셨어요. 되게 간략하게 말씀드렸습니다. 네, 그리고 칼리님. Hi Carly, when I first watched the Dream Academy press conference, I immediately knew you would be my number one pick. I've been supporting you ever since. I'm so proud of you and hope you know how loved you are. Keep doing what you're doing and continue to work hard. Your family, friends, and supporters, gnarlies, oh, will always have your back no matter what. You got this. I look forward to seeing more of your talents, sending you lots of love from Hawaii. We love you, gnarly car. <laughs> 네, 가족, 친구들, 그리고 응원하는 팬들이 있으니까 절대 걱정하지 말고 화이팅 하시라고요. 네, 하와이. Yes. 네, 그 일리아님 가볼게요. Hi, Ilya. I don't think I can put into words how thankful I am that you've shared your voice with the world. Hearing you sing always brightens my day. Your talent, courage, and warmth heart are really inspiring. And your performances has given me a lot of strength and joy. Seeing you work so hard to achieve your dreams motivates me to work hard too. I want you to know that I am very proud of you and I will always believe in you. Ilya, you've got this. Sending lots of love and good wishes. Ah, thank you so much. Wow, 감사합니다. 아, 열심히 하시는 일리아 님의 모습이 굉장한 동기 부여가 많이 된다고 말씀을 해 주셨어요. 간략하게. 그러면 next up Samara Hello, Samara. I love you so much, and I'm rooting for you. It's not just because you're from Brazil, but because I really admire you, and I fight hard to fight with you. Um, we are, now it's in Portuguese. <laughs> um, we are with you, and go, Samara! Yay! Is that, is that your translation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> 그 사마라 씨의 모습을 보면 어, 되게 많은 존경을 보여나고 싶다 표현하고 싶다고 말씀을 해주셨어요. 짧게 간략하게 얘기해서 네, 그리고 메겐님, 네. Megan, one of the main slayers. I just want to say that I hope you are okay and well, and I believe that you can do it. Your Pink Phantom performance was amazing and. And to think that we are from the same year, but you already look like a professional at this. Keep slaying, Megan, and we love you. Love you. Oh, you can do this. The Pink Venom performance was very impressive, and it was a pro. I told you. 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 Dear Marquis, you are so talented and I love you so much. I love you. Your dancing and facial expressions and presence and especially your vibe makes me want to support you and vote for you. You are so, so beautiful and kind. I really root for you and hope you will debut from Mina. Thank you. Yes. But Marquis님은 춤과 표정이 매력적이고 어, 또 특유의 분위기가 Marquis님을 응원하고 싶다고 말씀을 해주셨습니다. 네. Next up, Brooklyn. To Brooklyn, you are a beautiful artist with so much potential. I am glad to be able to support such an influential person. 
Your talent is beyond and will continue to blossom like a rose. Never give up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, wow. Brooklyn 씨 같은 참가자를 응원할 수 있어서 너무 다행이라고 하시고 끝까지 포기하지 말라고 말씀해 주셨습니다. Next up, 나영 님. 나영이에게 처음부터 당신의 열렬한 팬이었고 우리는 계속해서 데뷔할 때까지 응원할게요. 나영 씨의 보컬은 천사 같고 들을 때마다 다른 공간에 온 느낌이 들어요. 노래하시는 모습 더 보고 싶어요. 잘 지내시나요? 건강하게 많이 드시고 더 멋진 무대 기대할게요. 화이팅! 데뷔하자! 감사합니다. 어, 네, 화이팅, 화이�ing 네. Nayeong's fan letter mentions Nayeong's heavenly vocals and um, is rooting for her upcoming tasks. Moving on to Lexi. Okay. Dearest Lexi, your performances have consistently left me in awe and your presence on the show brings so much energy and positivity. I've been following your journey from the beginning and it's been inspiring to witness your growth as an artist. Your voice is truly captivating and your passion for music shines through in, in every note you sing. Aww. Not only are you a talented singer, but your personality and charisma also make you stand out. You have a unique ability to connect with the audience and make us feel like we're part of your musical journey. I'm excited to see where your career takes you beyond Dream Academy. I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve great things in the music industry. Thank you for sharing your gift with the world, Lexi. You brought so much joy to your fans, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank 네. you. Lexi 씨의 무대를 보면 항상 넋이 나가고 또 아티스트로서 성장하는 게 보인다고 파이팅하라고 말씀해 주셨습니다. 네. Move on to main name. Hello, May. From the first time I saw you, I thought you were amazing and beautiful, and decided I want to. I wanted. I wanted you to debut. Debut. After the first mission, I'm only more confident in my feelings. Your dancing was cute and expressive. <laughs> expressive, and I can't wait to hopefully hear your voice next round. May May fighting. 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 Right. May's fan letter says that her dancing is cute and expressive, and she can't wait to hear more of her voice next round. 네, 무대에서의 춤이 너무 귀엽고 May 씨의 목소리 목소리가 더 듣고 싶다고 말씀해 주셨네요. 파이팅입니다. 네. 감사합니다. 그리고 지금 어, 아쉽게 마지막으로 윤채 씨랑 우아 씨의 팬 레터는 제가 대신 읽어드려야 할것 같아요. Last but not least, I will read Yun Che and Uwa's fan letters. Can you guys help me like turn this on? Because it turned off. <laughs> so, 제가 들고 있는 동안 꺼졌어요. <laughs> 네, 윤채 씨 먼저 가보겠습니다. Hi, Yun Che. Mm, I've been your number one fan since day one and always will be. When I first saw you, I have fallen in love with your talent and beauty. I've been voting for you every day. I really hope you debut. If you ever will set if you ever will sad, please uh, remember there are lots of fans cheering and supporting you no matter what. I'll keep supporting you forever. Don't give up. Fighting. 사랑해요. Love, Serena. <웃음> 윤채 씨의 넘버 원 팬인 분이 어, 정말 포기하지 마시고 그리고 항상 서포트 한다고 말씀해 주셨어요. Um, I have to find Uwa. Is <laughs> ah, 바로 다음에 있습니다. 네, Uwa 팬 Uwa 님 팬레터 읽어볼게요. Uwa 짱, hope you're doing great. 와타시와 아나타노 다이 아나타노 다이 팬 됐어요. Uwa 짱, the way you deliver those powerful moves is such a pleasure to the eyes. I've been re-watching your fan cams a lot of times already. I still can't get enough of it. On the outside, you're super cute, but once you start performing, it's truly mesmerizing to watch you dance. I can't wait to see more of you in the upcoming task. I really wish uh, to see you make it till the end and have a successful debut. 
But regardless of whatever fate has in store, I'll be rooting for you always. Gambare. Wow, that's amazing. 자 파워풀한 춤이 너무 어, 보기 좋고 귀여운 성격까지 어, 있어서 응원하시고 싶다고 하셨습니다. 네. 네, 자 마지막으로 네 이렇게 달려왔는데 이제 아기 사진을 함께 맞춰라 코너를 진행할 예정인데요. 아기 사진을 네 저희 다 함께 어느 참가자의 어린 시절인지 한번 맞춰보도록 하겠습니다. Before we say our final goodbyes, let's play a fun little segment I like to call Guess the Baby Photos. We're gonna guess your baby photos. 이분, 자, 누굴까요? 누굴? 네, 보여주세요. Oh, wow, Emily. That's Emily. Wow. 네, 다음 넘어가 보겠습니다. 어, 이분 누구시죠? 이분. Yes, Laura. Wow, Laura. I didn't know that one. I love your fashion. 네, 다음 분. 어, 이분 누구실까요? 자, 보여주세요. Yes, Ilya. Wow. 네, 그리고 다음 분은 어, 이분 누군지 알것 같은데. Sophia. Wow, you had mics since I got how old? Like, is that three? I think that was when I was two or one. Oh, wow. Yeah. I ah, guess 진짜. even younger. <laughs> That's amazing. You look exactly like that. Yep. <laughs> 네, 다음 번, 다음 분. 어, 이분 누구실까요? 보여주세요. 네, 브루클린 님이셨습니다. 네, 그 다음 분들은 어 그냥 한 번에 다 보여드릴 텐데요. 이제 한 번. 아, 아 왜요? 그러, 그러게 말이에요. <웃음> 마키님. 아 정말 눈 동그라신 것 같아요. 계속. 네, 그 다음 보여주세요. 메겐. <웃음> She looks exactly like that. Oh, wow. So elegant. <웃음> 네, 다음 분. Carly, Hawaii. 네, 다음 분 갈게요. 어, 나영님. 나영님. 네, 그리고 다음 분 갈게요. Oh, wow, but no. That's your sister? 어, 옆에 분이 어, 언니라고 말씀하시는데 that's your older sister? Oh, wow. 네, 다음 분 갈게요. Celeste. Where was this? Where is this? I think, I think it was my brother's birthday. If I'm not wrong, I don't remember honestly. But <laughs> <laughs> I was so no, don't but yeah. I, I do remember this moment. Actually. You do? Yeah, I had so much fun. Jump down, pun. Pull, pull the Daniela, you got swag. A bucket. It's great. What is inside oh. a bucket? <laughs> so cute. I know. 다음 분 보도록 할게요. Oh wow, baby, with your kimono, kawaii. <laughs> 네 그럼 자 다음 분 있나요? Wow, Ezra는 진짜 머리가 작은 것 같아요. <웃음> 아 정말 이쁘죠? 네, 이제 이 정도로 다 끝을 베이비 사진을 마무리 지었던 것 같습니다. Oh, that's your sister. Who's your sister? She's older than me. Oh really? Yeah. That one on the left? Yeah. Wow, 진짜 이쁜데? 이쁜데? <웃음> 네. 네, 귀엽죠? 네. 네, 끝으로 이제 다 마무리를 짓도록 하겠습니다. 근데 여기까지 아기 사진을 맞춰라 였습니다. 이렇게 조금 더 참가자들에 대해서 알아갈 수 있어서 너무 좋았는데요. Um, so this game was tough for me. Like, it was very tough. It was very tough, guys. It's very tough. Especially you. <웃음> 네, 저희가 준비한 코너는 여기까지였고요. Uh, that's it for today's break time. And 마지막으로 오늘 기념하기 위해서 관객 여러분들과 
어, 셀카를 남기려고 해요. We're gonna take a selfie with um, everybody to um, commemorate this. So, 어, 셀카 촬영은 어, 에즈렐라 씨가 도와줄 건데, 어, so Ezrella, you're gonna take the lead on taking selfies. So if you guys can come out here. <웃음> 자 여러분들 준비 되셨죠? 각도 중요해요 각도. 자, 카운트 3, 그러니까 세번딱 세 1, 2, 3 하고 찍을 거예요, 자. 3, 2, 1 3, 2, 1 네, 됐습니다. 네, 너무 감사합니다. 네, 여러분 뒤돌아서 여기서 조금만 뒤로 나오시고 자, 같이 서주세요. 아, 네, 이제 다들 한 바짝 물러서서 이제 관객분들한테 인사드릴 건데요. 오늘 찾아와 주신 팬 여러분들 너무 감사드리고요. Thank you so much to all the fans who are able to join us today, in both in person and online. 네, 그럼 저희 참가자 분들의 성공적인 데뷔를 위해 많은 응원과 사랑 많이 부탁드리고요. 어, 네, please continue to send your love and support to our um, contestants. 네, 감사합니다. 네, Dream Academy contestants, please say. Bye to everyone. 네, 드림 아카데미 여러분들 팬분들께 다 같이 인사드리고 퇴장할게요. 네, 감사합니다. 네. 아, 매그. That's crazy. 두 그룹 보셨는데 또 뭐가 좀 잘했는지 뭐가 좀 부족했는지 좀 의견을 듣고 싶습니다. 좀 편하게 말씀해 주시면 도움이 될것 같아요. 네, 이 곡은 기본적으로 에너지감이 가장 중요한 것 같고요. 그리고 곡에서 느껴지는 굉장히 에스, 에스닉한 부분들, 라틴 팝에서 들려지는 에스닉한 부분들이라든 저는 개인적으로는 그룹 그룹 1위. 그런 부분에서 굉장히 그때 잘 소화를 했다고 생각을 합니다. 그 기본적인 에너지 레벨이 훨씬 그룹 투에 비해서 훨씬 더 높게 느껴졌고 라라 씨가 굉장히 잘 소화를 했다고 생각을 해요. 한 가지 아쉬웠던 거는 그런 약간 루지안 루지 파트들을 잘 소화를 하는데 비해서 다른 전반적으로는 속도감을 조금 못 따라오는 것 같다는 느낌이 좀 있었고 에밀리 씨 같은 경우도 네, 굉장히 당차고 에너지 있고 윤채 참가자 같은 경우는 뭔가 그런 어쨌든 케이팝에 대한 이해도가 높다 보니 어느 정도 그런 거를 잘 살릴 줄은 알지만 톤이 약간 답답하다 보니 그게 조금 이제 신나게 안 느껴지는 감이 좀 있었고 메간이 굉장히 좀 들어왔는데 그 메간 같은 경우는 그냥 뭐 음질 이런 걸다 떠나서 좀 느낌적으로 굉장히 좀잘 소화를 했던 것 같아요. 
일단 퍼포먼스로 봤었을 때 안티프레자일 같은 경우에는 어, 멤버들의 어떤 팀업도 중요하지만 개개인의 어떤 캐릭터성이나 그런 부분들도 좀 두각이 좀 드러나야 되는 그런 퍼포먼스 그런 것들을 좀 중점을 두고 제작을 했었었는데 그런 부분에서 봤었을 때 일단 짧은 기간에 이두 팀이 그런 것들 잘 소화해낸 부분에 대해서는 정말 잘했다고 박수를 쳐주고 싶고요. 다만 전체적인 밸런스나 그런 부분에서는 그룹 A가 훨씬 더 저는 좋았던 것 같습니다. 근데 어떤 그런 개인적인 표현이나 이런 것들이 그룹 B가 훨씬 더 재밌었다. 어 일리아가 특히 B 아. 어, 저는 특히 그룹 B에서 일리아가 저번 미션 원에서와 같이 좀 뭔가 존재감이 많이 안 나타났었던 것 같아요. 자 칼리는 잘 했어요. 그래도 지금 이 그룹 B 안에서 본인이 할수 있는 최선을 다 해서 보여준 것 같은데 사실 칼리는 어 아직 보여주지 않은 장점이 되게 많은 참가자라고 저는 개인적으로 생각을 하거든요. 근데 제일 큰 문제는 그 장점들이 무대에서 정말 안 나오는 것 같아요. 그러니까 오히려 좀 본인이 좀 이제 고쳐야 되는 제대로 보여줘야 될때못 보여주고 있는 것 같아서 사실 칼리도 그런 부분에 대해서 좀 아쉬운 것 같아요. Our job is going to be interesting because what we're seeing is a lot of the fan voting is people just voting for their, their country, their nationality. For us to even consider who's going to be eliminated, we need to focus on the overall team performance, just the talent of the overall girls. That's our job, guys. I'm glad that everyone's rooting for their favorite person, but this is a competition on skill set, and we need to focus on that. What's really great about having you three here is just understanding where these songs came from and understanding the, the kind of the history of how you made them. I think Ilya, I agree, I think she did her best. I do want to see a little bit more from her and I think Carly gave the same the same as Ilya. I think Carly gave everything to it, but I think in giving everything she slightly missed out on her vocal pitch a little bit. This is their first time doing dance and vocal at the same time. I know that's really challenging. Emily I think we're all in agreement. It's really incredible to see how much she's grown. She's always been an amazing dancer, but just seeing her, hearing her vocally grow is really impressive. I would go with group A. I do feel as a group performance, it was slightly better. Both to me didn't, didn't give it compared to what I know that they can do. ที่นั่นเด้อตอนนั้นทีมมันกูรู้กี่ก้าทุกทีมได้ชัวร์ตัวกว่าก่อนเนาะเก่งจังยิ่งคือเด้อช่วงนั้นเกย์นี่กูร
조금 뭐 그래도 되게 잘했던 것 같고 근데 우아라는 멤버가 되게 좀 신기한 게이 이 참가자가 노래를 이제 굉장히 뭐 보컬로서 잘하는 멤버는 아닌데 되게 눈에 띄고 귀가 자꾸 가는 그런 느낌이 음. 있더라고요 뭔가 어 뭔가 이상하게 좀 매력이 있게 들리는 게 있는데 정작 이제 테크닉이 좋다거나 뭐 톤이 뭐 엄청 좋다거나 그런 건 아니지만 이상하게 귀가 되게 따라가는 네. 느낌이 있었어요. Collectively, the battle between these two teams, they gave me more. I think that they performance-wise matched the song. n a y o n g to me, something in her head, or if she's just not used to this level of performance. But there are moments where I thought that she was good, but I know she can do better. Brooklyn, it's amazing to see her growth, but I do think out of everyone in this group, she probably didn't shine as much. Celeste, I thought her performance was great. I just had the same comments that I, I will continue to have with her. I don't know if her tone blends in the way that I want it to in a group. i s r e l l a definitely, this probably was to me one of her weaker performances, and I think that she has so much charm so you know her work ethic is incredible but this for some reason didn't suit her the best 개인적으로는 셀레스테인데 따라가는 그런 느낌 그러니까 쫓아가는 느낌 소화를 잘 못하는 느낌이 많았는데 이 부분이 빨리 개선이 되지 않으면 음 저는 음좀 쉽지 않을 것 같다라는 생각도 조심스럽게 어 합니다 음 나영 씨 좀 아쉬웠는데 지금 어 지금 투표에서 1위를 하고 있잖아요. 1위를 하고 있는데 어 물론 지금 가지고 있는 매력이 너무나도 많고 재능도 많아서 많은 사람들에게 이렇게 많은 관심을 받고 있는 것 같기는 해요. 근데 아직까지 이제 팀으로서 팀으로서 이제 퍼포먼스를 할때 같이 속 해진다는 그 팀에 속한다라는 그런 소속감이 아직은 좀 부족한 것 같아요. 메이는 어, 메이는 어느 정도 이제 잘해요. 그러니까 어, 특출나진 않지만 그래도 뭐 표정 연기도 그렇고 가창도 그렇고 퍼포먼스도 그렇고 그러니까 어느 정도 되게 잘하는데 그게 진짜 말 그대로 약간 그 정도인 것 같아요. 그러니까 되게 상당히 그런 케이팝적인 그런 보통의 사람들이 생각하고 있는 딱그 정도의 틀 안에서 되게 잘 하는데 그게 뭔가 그 틀을 벗어나서 무대에서도 좀더 매력적이고 보여야 될 필요성이 있을 것 같아요. Brooklyn, I think she's grown as a solo artist singer into a group setting. However, I do think that some of her performance took me out of it. I think that last note that she went for. It just, it just took me out of the performance. I feel like she missed the mark a little bit. Thank you. I think this is really special. I mean, when do you get the opportunity for the producers and the performance director to give advice and their feedback on these group missions? So thank you so much. I think that we have a lot of information here, and I think it'll help with the fan voting. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. Da. 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 Thank you so much. Da. Da. During the voting window, we asked each contestant a series of questions. What makes you think you have what it takes to be in the debut group? I think I have what it takes to put myself into those performances and give the fans what they want. Like I said, that like fire and that fight and, you know, I want this so badly because of all the sacrifices that I did make when I was young. My passion, my love. For music, because music is the love of my life. So, 어 다른 친구들과는 다르게 
뭔가 연습생 생활도 했었기 때문에 그동안 쌓아온 걸더 많이 보여드릴 수 있다고 생각해요. 私が武器が活かせられるようなグループだと思ったので、私の特技のダンスを表現したいと思いました。Yeah, yeah, I just bring something different to the group. Even though I'm not the best singer, it's not just skill or how good you can sing or how you get good you can perform, but like are you willing to work together? グループないとかで揉め事とかあったりしても、私はそういうのを解決するのにすごい長けていると思っています。I realize that I deserve to be in the group. I know that I'm talented and I work really, really hard. That's a quality that I love about myself. I put the work in. I feel like I've grown so much in my skill set. And I've been through so much and I worked so hard and I've stuck through this that I definitely think I deserve to be here. And I honestly could not see myself doing anything else like this is the only thing I picture myself doing and if you don't have that underlying passion and desire that comes with it then you're gonna burn out and it's it's not gonna last and I think I have that and I I don't think I know I have that you have to be unstoppable and I definitely think like I'm unstoppable when it comes to like my passion in the core of my heart I'm gonna make a positive change in this world and I want to have a platform so I can like spread positivity and do good things. We then asked each contestant to come up with their ideal debut group. If I could pick five people to make my own dream group, I don't know that's so hard because every single girl here like I can see myself in a group with. I don't know, I want to choose everyone. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this is hard. Oh, Jesus, that's so hard. No, that's so hard. Bye. Okay, uh, the first person I would choose. Oh, six. So little. Oh! But I also think thinking like country wise, like representation wise, like there's only like so much. If, if we lose one person, we lose like a whole like really important culture. Everybody that I picked, I think is super talented in both dancing and singing aspects. This member can be like the best dancer and then this one the best singer and then we complement each other. It's so hard because we're all friends and we just get like along so well, but we're not forming a friend group. We're forming a girl group. It's like you want to choose your friends and who you're close to, but you also have to be like smart. I think that's like something to keep in mind with my choice and how I would feel and react to the other girls' choices. 다른 친구들도 너무 다 좋고 또 정말 더 원하는 친구도 있지만. 이한 그룹이 모였을 때그 정말 어울리는 이미지와 아 정말 한 그룹 같다라는 걸더 봤을 때 저는 이 여섯 명이 가장 어울린다고 생각이 들어서 I feel like the public have already chosen who they truly want in this and it makes me feel like I have no chance It's, it's all personal I think it is but it's also not 14 contestants included Sophia in their debut group 12 contestants included Daniela in their debut group. Nine contestants included Samara in their debut group. We then asked the contestants a series of anonymous questions. Which team performed the best? The contestants were split on which fearless group performed better. 83% of the contestants believed that anti-fragile group A performed better. 
We then asked contestants to predict who could be eliminated this mission. Congratulations to Daniela, Manan, Ua, Israela, Celeste, Emily, Yunche, Laura, Sophia. You may step forward to receive your invitation to Mission 3. nine contestants remaining. We have five invitations left. Four of you will not be joining us on Mission 3. Brooklyn. You will not be receiving an invitation. Samara. Step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Na Young. Step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. There are three invitations left. Carly. You will not be receiving an invitation. <laughs> Megan. Step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. 
Two invitations left. Ilya. You will not be receiving an invitation. Lexi. Step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. For our last invitation, it is between Marquise and May. I feel like as of right now, it's just it's just hard to to show people like what I can do because like you know, strong and like what not the other. I've always just kind of been like floating around in the middle. What I'm like actually showing people is like 10% of what I'm capable of. It, it much frustrates me and it kind of makes me feel like no one thinks that I can do it. を見てきたいし、第二デビューしてほしいし、もし私が脱落しちゃっても本当にずっと応援するし、もう彼女の姿をずっと見てたいです。ずっと本当に応援したいって思うような人柄なので、皆さんにもそれを知ってほしいです。
at my uniform. I've grown so much. I'm, I, I became a person that I really wanted to be when I started this program. I was like, I wish to, I wish to dance like that. I wish to dance and sing like that. And now I got this. I feel like becoming a dancer here, it's, it's an honor. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about like a lot of things right now. This is such a dream for all of us. A, a dream academy. I'm just so happy and grateful that so many people who love me have been able to support me through this. I know that you all know how much I wanted this. Y'all saw me never miss a single day of rehearsals, not one. Probably one of the happiest moments in my life was when they called my name. And the reason is because I heard your reactions and I heard every single one of you like sob your hearts out when they said my name. And that meant the world to me that I've impacted you so much that when they said I was leaving, it made me so happy to know that you care about me that much. And you better call me. I know you're gonna be busy, but you better text me. And I love you guys.周りまだ頑張る力が残ってるので明るく振る舞えたんじゃないかなって思います。I We're gonna see each other again. Like, we'll be opening on stage for each other. This is not the end, so anybody who's watching this, any friends or family who think that I'm just gonna stop, like, I'm not. By 2024, I promise you, I will make you proud. Unforgettable. Dream Academy is absolutely unforgettable. I've made countless memories here that I can't even begin to count. I probably like won't stop talking about this for the next five years or 50 years and people are going to get so irritated, but <laughs> I think I'm going to take everything this program has given me forever. I say it's a blessing. This was a blessing for every girl here and no matter what that means and which way for me, it was a blessing in the way that I learned so much and I got to meet amazing people. It's been truly magical because I've transformed magically from a zero dancer to a dancer. So, so I feel like that's my favorite part of it. And then I've grown so much. Okay, absolutely cute. <laughs> well, we ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティン。ファイティ
Dream Academy experience really, really close to my heart. It has a special place there for me. <sighs> to my fellow girls, <laughs> you guys are truly my sisters, my family. Without you guys, I wouldn't have made it this far. You guys are just like my rock. How you guys from day one just took care of me. <laughs> Little Lexi and Minor dropping out of school, moving to LA, pursuing her dreams and was really scared. And you guys just welcomed me with open arms. And since then, like you guys have such a special place in my heart that will always belong to you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so glad I, I met you. I'm rooting for you. Rooting for you <laughs> it wasn't just an overnight decision. The reasons are many, but I would say that the main reason for my decision is that this path is just not meant for me. I really want everyone out there to keep supporting the Dream Academy and the girls because they truly, truly deserve it. I just want to say the biggest thank you from the bottom of my heart to the girls, to the fans, all the supporters, to my family that supported me, to the staff, my instructors, and everyone I crossed paths with during this journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you later. Surprised to see me? Yes. <laughs> um, for your last Mission 3 announcement, we thought we'd make it special and I get to deliver this fun message to you all. So, um, how was Korea? So, so good. good. So good. You guys want to go back? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Well, it's been a pleasure working alongside each and every one of you, overseeing all the visual elements of the Dream Academy. And for Mission 3, we're going to up the ante. This is our third and last mission, and at the end of this phase, we'll have 10 contestants who will go to the finale, where the world will discover our debut members. I couldn't be more excited and proud, and I know all the fans will be too. So, in mission one, Showcase, you introduced yourselves and shared your skills with the world. In mission two, we emphasize teamwork, chemistry, and harmony. In this final mission, we focus on artistry. Each group will perform an iconic song by a legendary female artist Ooh. and its own unique concept and original choreography. Super, super exciting. Through the performance, each group will convey a distinct narrative brought to life through choreography, styling, and location. We encourage you to fully embody the essence of the song, honoring its legacy, at the same time, bringing your own style to it. The first song, y'all ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> the first song is Demi Lovato's Confident. <gasps> the song is all about power, self-assurance, and strength. This group is Laura, <gasps> Megan, Marky <laughs> and Yunche. I can't wait to see this performance, girls. You all got this. I can't wait. All right. The second song is Buttons by the Pussycat. <gasps> Super iconic. This song has a seductive charm, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you all do with this. So this group is super exciting. You will use this as an opportunity to show a completely different facet of your artistry to the world. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> For buttons, we have Celeste. <laughs> Daniela. <laughs> Manon. <laughs> Nayang. 
And last but not least, Sophia. <gasps> I cannot wait to see this performance. All right, the third song will be none other than the world-renowned Wannabe by the Spice Girls. This is a massive, massive, iconic song. We are ready for you to showcase your bubbly sweetness and camaraderie for the world to see. Remember, girl power. For Wannabe, we have Emily. <laughs> Ezrella. <laughs> Ua. <laughs> and Samara. <laughs> I can't wait for you to show us your original version of this. So this is your moment to shine in three unique ways. Embrace each concept, let your artistry shine through, and make this mission unforgettable. I'm confident that each of you will rise to the challenge. This is the last leg of your journey. You've practiced so hard, shown your dedication, and although there have been ups and downs, your efforts have paid off. I know you will all look back on this moment at the Dream Academy as a growth opportunity and a giant step towards your own personal dreams. No matter the outcome, please know that all of us, along with the entire world, will continue to cheer you on as your journey towards becoming an artist. Good luck, everybody. So we are at the rice team because we are all Asian. And we all like rice. We're all from different parts of Asia. Well, I'm Indian. So I'm Basmati rice. I am Bibimbap. Sticky rice. Fried rice. R I C E rice team. Wait, that wasn't like a movie at all. We are doing Confident by Demi Lovato. So the song is very, very, very powerful. I feel like the overall theme is like girl power, strong women, fierce, like fighter energy, which I think is a side that we haven't really got to like show to the world yet. And I feel like the last chorus, we're all fighting. <laughs> we're fighting. We're fighting. For and our with lives. the like runs, yeah. it's definitely difficult. <laughs> we're out of breath. This mission will be the first time we'll ever do original choreography mm -hmm. and not like a cover dance, which is super exciting because I'm excited for everyone to see like what we can do like outside of these covers and it'll be just like a new thing that people get to in this. I think the hardest part was probably like singing and dancing at the same time because the choreo is by itself is already so crazy and then even adding like the vocals like the vocals itself is crazy no that's a whole itself. performance yeah, it's itself. a whole thing but and then adding them both together it's like breath support on a hundred it's almost like doing like this yeah <laughs> this is like oh with that world i can't feel it's like this. We're using zip up hoodies, which I think we can all agree was a story <laughs> on its own. Yeah. Because it was really difficult, especially just learning it. I haven't been in a mission with any of these ladies yet, so this was my first time like practicing and being like in rehearsal with them. Megan has been the most like very reliable because she's like an insane dancer and insane singer. So it's weird talking about you when you're behind me, but I can't like see you. So like, but, and you also have weirdly really good breath control. Yeah. Which, like, yeah, like it's. <laughs> As we all touched based on a little earlier, confident is such 
a physically hard dance by itself, like even without the singing. And all of us at some point got injured or like physically hurt somehow, especially me with like my back. And confident is like back heavy. <laughs> like it's really back heavy. It's a queen. Yes. <laughs> Little worried about myself, but pretty good overall. Especially like with all of this on and seeing everybody and the set. Yeah, it feels really good. You look yeah. so good working. And you look so like shiny. <laughs> yeah, I'm so so shiny. You look really shiny. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest part of this routine is the ending. The end Because course. you need to push. And it's like the most like singy. And we also like just went through a whole dance and like we're winded already. It's just so hard. Ah, <laughs> 지금. <laughs> 너무 구두를 높은 그걸 신었고 커가지고 중심 잡기 하나 모르겠어. I want to drop the jacket the same way each time on my hand because if you don't, then it keeps like it's a change. He, you drop it differently each time. 그래서 한번 지금 해봐. So can we try it right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm back now. Why am I getting like emotional? That was like, it's finally over. I love this dance, like, I'm gonna be so sad. No, I'm like getting emotional. This was our last video mission, and now it's gonna be to the live show. Bride's team is forever. Bride's team forever. Closing out, we ended all the video missions with a bang, and I'm proud of my team for their hard work and, you know, just. Doing their thing and go Pookies! Let's go Rice Team! This is not the end of Rice Team. Period. Rice Team forever. Rice Team forever. Rice, Rice is, is life. life! One, two, three, stop! So for mission three, we're doing the song Buttons by the Pussycat Dolls. Buttons, it's like a really good song. It's so powerful, it's so cool. The Pussycat Dolls, they're like really iconic. Once it gets to the dance break, it's like really hard, especially because I'm in the front. So I have to like really like hit it. But yeah, by that time I'm like gassed. Like I can't. It's exhausting for sure. I love like the original choreo we had and working with Grant too. He's such an amazing choreographer and he gave us so much energy. Yeah, I need to see the accent of sit and crap. I feel like we we could have had more moments working as a team because yeah. just because like people were consistently out, like Sophia had COVID and like some of us just would get injured. Where was Celeste? When there's people yeah. missing, like yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it, and it's, it's kind not, of depressing, yeah. actually. But yeah, like, when is, everybody I'm shows sure, up. Yeah. When Sophia, Sophia, when you showed up after like you recovered from COVID, like no, that yeah. rehearsal was so much that was fun. The <laughs> when you did that first, I was like laughing. I was stressed, and someone was there, and I was like, oh, yeah. And he was like it. strike the arms and shake the hips. I was like, when I heard it. Mo hunde te mo mul do ma shinita mul sorry. I can't hear you that well. 우선은 그 안무가 계속 계속 바뀌고 또 그거에 적응하려니까 좀 시간도 걸리고 그게 제일 힘들었던 것 같아요. For a lot of us, it was like the first time working with props, like chairs, and it was it was fire. I loved it. Yeah. Ah, okay. That, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think especially with our choreography and the chairs, we really needed to work as a team because there's this one section where we have to align the chairs so I could like go on top of them and do my little thing on there. It's like crazy. I'm like so sweaty, it's not normal. And this is not blush. This is me overheating. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. 
for this dance, I had to bring a very powerful energy, like sexy, hot. It was really, really hard for me, but now that I was practicing with Jenny and Manolo and Sofia, they're really good at it. Like, they have those vibes. So I was like always watching them in rehearsals, and I was like, okay, I have to do that. Like, oh, Jenny's really good at it. I have to do like this step, like this. 어, 마지막 미션의 컨셉이 다 각자 시도해보지 않은 것들 그런 새로운 것들을 시도하는 거여서 일단은 그 점에서 되게 재밌을 것 같다는 생각이 들었고 또이 친구들과 함께 한다고 했을 때그 버튼즈가 되게 약간 섹시미도 있어야 되고 그런 어 약간 센 느낌보다는 그런 느낌적으로 보여주는 게 되게 많기 때문에 그런 점에서도 걱정이 많았지만 또 친구들이 많이 더운 주고 또 네. Look at these cars. Amazing. I got my driver's license. I got this for my 20th birthday, you know. I've always wanted a car. Do I have a license? No. I actually want to drive back to Korea so I can go to the Korean convenience store mm. because that's some place I went to every single day when we were in Korea. I am really excited, especially for this dance, because I swear, like, this is like my favorite dance out of like a lot of dances, and I just feel like this dance is so me, and I think it's so sexy and sassy, and I love that, and I love the outfits, just like the location, the makeup, just the whole vibe. It's really exciting. Everybody's working so hard, and today, being here <laughs> on set with the fits, the hair, it's my first time wearing the outfit, I even missed the fitting. And I am obsessed. They did me so good. They did me so good with the hair, the bold lip. I'm obsessed. So I'm feeling a lot better. I did everything I could. Like, I sat under the sun a little bit earlier, vitamins, lots of water, hydrating. Mission Majimak Chorong Nadi Raso, Bunga Kudongan, Chingodera Yoshimi Hewatan Goto, Kazu, Morisuga Stochinagako. 또 마지막인 만큼 더 열심히 힘내서 잘 마무리하고 싶어요. I think for this mission, it's the most challenging, yet I feel like it should be one of the easiest missions almost because what it is is artistry and that's something that you can't teach us in the program. That's something that we bring out within ourselves. This was the time to truly show everything that we've got through our eyes and what we're giving through the screen. We are the Sugar Girls! I am the Tim Tam Girl. I'm a Peepus Guys. And I'm a Brigadero Girl. And I'm a Sour Patch Girl. Um, so we are doing Wanna Be by Spicy Girls. first heard the announcement, I feel like we were all just super excited. I feel like Wannabe is literally the song that represents all of us so well and our personality so well. And I think like the four of us together is just like such a fun group because we're yeah. all super bubbly and we're all a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is definitely the ultimate like girl power song with all the girls like within our like little Wannabe characteristics. It's like always like a hint of us in this so I feel like we applied that to like the dynamic something really special about this mission is that it's a concept mission and it's all original choreography with the other missions we've been doing covers so this is our first time showing the audience like something that's original of like our different concepts and I think it's really cool like the confident concept and the buttons concept and the wannabe concept they're all so different エズレラちゃんがいるとみんなとのコミュニケーションの手助けになってくれて私のことも気を使ってくれていっぱい話してくださって一緒に出とっても安心できるしとても優しくて大好きです
feel like there was many challenges, especially with this mission. I think coming back from Korea, we were all very jet lagged. Coming back from mission two and especially elimination, it was a lot mentally. Also, like there was a period of time where it was just like, either two of us in rehearsal or three of us in rehearsal and like I feel like it was just recently that all four of us were in rehearsal together just because of different factors and different things. There's a lot going on sometimes with our bodies just sore and we're going through mental health issues and being able to not show that on our performance I think is a challenge. We all knew we were going through hardships and we were facing similar things so we knew that together we had to like create a positive environment so that we could have a positive class and give that true like genuine positive energy. I want to think about things we want to release from the energy of this piece right now. Things we don't want to feel when we perform this. And then we're gonna go around and then I want you to speak it into the circle. Emily, what do you want to release? Exhaustion. Exhaustion's there. What do you want to release? Everything. <laughs> Everything! <laughs> oh, I'll say this stuff. You can make a list. Well, Worry. I think the girls are really stressing out as the shoot day is approaching. This dance is very challenging because it's created to be fun, lighthearted, and very spirited. And a lot of the girls just are mentally struggling outside of this work. I'm doing a lot of work right now to remind them about their purpose and their light. I want you to take it up, grab all of this energy. We're gonna toss it and release it today. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's go. There was a day where it was just me and Azrella, and like we were just goofing around, and like, we were just like, it, it is what it is. It was cute when I looked you in the eye and I like, it. Yeah. <laughs> it was the twitch too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So tomorrow we obviously are filming our performance. So right now we're on the set of Wannabe and we're super excited. We're getting mic'd up. The turf is actually not that bad. I was a little bit nervous, but I feel like it's it's pretty good. I feel like it's better than like concrete. And it matches literally Dream Academy. It's literally like navy blue. Stummy buddy down and wind it all around. Stummy buddy down and wind it all around. You've been working that hair all day. <laughs> Yesterday in rehearsal, we're doing our last take in my we're in platform sneakers and my ankle fully twisted and it like, oh, no. <laughs> cracked a little bit the aftermath with the little like crack of the ankle. And we're on platforms too. So it was like. I know what that is. So it's just it's just hurting a little bit. In between takes I'm trying to ice it. But I have a little cast on it right now, so it's helping. I'm Jasmine if she was the street rat. No? <laughs> yeah. Because Aladdin is normally the street rat. Instead of my trusty monkey, it'll be with my taiga and we'll be living the street life and we'll be scaring people with my taiga. D-R-E-A-M. Can you do like cool effects and like sounds? I'm very happy with my team and how we did. I feel like we really pushed through today and we gave a really good performance and we're all connected through friendship and love and the Spice Girls. Hashtag Team Dream Academy Spice. Hashtag Team Dream Academy Spice and everything nice. Down. 
Good evening, guys. Here we are for the final discussion, Mission 3, the Artistry Mission. Joining us today as the guest evaluator, we have Missy, who is the Senior T&D Program Manager. As long as everyone, you've been with the contestants from the very beginning, so having your insight is invaluable. So thank you for joining us. It's been a crazy and amazing journey with the contestants, and I'm so excited to see their growth and review it with you guys and hopefully give you some insight to the behind the scenes, their personalities, and everything that only a few of us get to experience. Mission님이 저희 드림 아카데미 참가자들을 가장 오랫동안 가장 가까운 곳에서 어, 많이 봐왔었고 어, 지나왔었기 때문에 어, 기존 미션 평가보다는 좀더 어, 다른 시선에서 어, 평가를 할수 있을 것 같아서 많이 기대가 되네요. So as mentioned, Mission 3, the artistry, here we are. In this challenge, the contestants are tasked with demonstrating their versatility through three different distinct performance concepts. Why is it important for these contestants to perform different concepts? Artists are in different concepts of music and performance and fans. So I think that this mission 3 is a new mission for our audience. I agree completely. I think our training and development program um, had a goal of creating well-rounded artists and that's why we had the girls train in different genres such as you know hip-hop and ballet and heels to make sure they were prepared for opportunities like this. Great. Yeah. I think with that all being said, I think let's get into the first performance, which yeah. is Demi Lovato Confident. Yeah. And in that we have Lara, Marquis. Mm -hmm. Megan, and you check. The Confident Group is, I think, the best way to do it. And I think that the first group is the first group of the Lara Sangha's group. But I think that the Lara Sangha's group is 이 퍼포먼스를 제일 잘 소화하지 않았나 메간 참가자는 음, 미션이 거듭될수록 확실히 안정감 있게 잘 올라오고 있는 것 같아요 마키는 음, 제가 사실 진짜 처음 미션 때부터 계속 했었던 얘기인데 본인이 가지고 있는 그런 매력을 이렇게 팀 안에서는 매력을 발사, 매력 발산을 잘 못하는 것 같아요 그러니까 이거는 어 본인의 실력도 되게 중요하고 본인의 그런 스타성도 되게 중요하기는 한데 결국에는 그 모든 것들을 아우르는 에너지이거든요. 근데 이거는 솔로로 활동을 하지 않고 그룹으로 활동을 할어 사람이라면 정말로 가장 먼저 극복해야 될 문제인 것 같아요. 사람들이 찾아가서 봐주지는 않거든요. 본인이 뚫고 나가야 돼요. 근데 마키는 지금 미션이 거듭될수록 그런 것들을 못 보여주고 있는 점이 참 아쉬운 것 같아요. So Marky had a back injury, a pretty bad back injury the night before, which was kind of concerning. I don't think that any of audience members will know that she was injured from the video, so I'm I'm happy and I know she'll be happy about that. I am I'm super hard on Marky. I think we all are because we have such a high expectation of her. And um, I think she rose to the occasion. To be able to give that performance she gave with that injury, I think was really impressive. Um, for me, I think vocally she has such a unique tone in a good way, and I think her confidence just from knowing her from the beginning up until now has been great. I think she's she's really grown into herself, which is super impressive to see. Actually, Confident라는 곡이 음역대도 너무 높고. 부르기가 너무 힘든 곡임에도 불구하고 우리 참가자들이 어, 보컬 연습을 좀 많이 하고 극복을 잘 해준 것 같아요. 근데 거기에 퍼포먼스까지 이렇게 좀 퍼포먼스 아, 안무 자체가 좀 다이나믹하고 또 빠르고 하다 보니까 같이 동시에 하기 더더욱이 힘들었을 텐데 어, 제가 예상했었던 것보다는 잘 준비를 했고 많이 연습을 해서 잘 해줬던 것 같아요. 아마 어, 뭐 어떤 평가를 받던 간에 본인들 개개인의 역량이 이 미션을 준비하면서 많이 성장했을 거라고 저는 생각을 합니다. 
Okay, let's get into yeah. the second performance, the second song, which is Buttons by the Pussycat Dolls with Daniela, Sophia, Manon, Celeste, and Naya. Thing to start with Daniela. I, I think Daniela is a star. She clearly pulls attention anytime she comes to the front. You could feel her presence. I think um, she got the opportunity to be a leader in this group. This group is a leader in this group. 간 숨은 공신이라고 저는 생각을 해요. 그러니까 물론 뭐 다른 참가자들이 못 했다라는 게 아니라 결국에는 끌고 가는 한두 명이 항상 그 그룹에는 있거든요. 근데 이 미션에서는 이 그룹에서는 다니엘라가 그런 역할을 잘 해주지 않았나 본인의 역량 플러스 이 그룹을 잘 이끌어가는 역할을 잘 해주지 않았나라고 생각을 합니다. 셀레스테 셀레스테는 여기에서도 마찬가지로 저는 존재감이 잘 나타나지 않지 않았나 라고 생각을 해요. 분명히 본인의 역량을 충분히 보여줄 수 있는 구간도 있었고 또 이렇게 옆에서 이렇게 조화롭게 이루어질 때 본인의 역량을 충분히 어, 보여줄 수 있는 구간들이 앞선 미션들보다는 좀 많았다고 라 생각을 하는데 그럼에도 불구하고 좀 그런 부분이 아쉬웠던 것 같아요. Sophia towards the end battled um, like a, a sickness uh, and she was super sick. So she wasn't able to make some of the end rehearsals. She, it wasn't until maybe a day before where she finally started feeling better. And then um, she jumped right back in, but on set she was so, so sick. I hope that no one is able to tell from the performance. I don't think she wanted anybody to know um, that she was um, sick. All was important to her is that she showed up and that she pulled through and that she hopefully gets to make it to the live show. I know she literally kept saying that on set. <laughs> So I think it's really important to her um, to show up, and she has great leadership skills at, as well. 그리고 나영 씨. 근데 우선은 나영 씨가 그 솔로 아티스트로서의 활동에 대한 본인의 그 생각을 미시님한테 이렇게 상담을 했고 얘기를 나눴다라고 제가 들었는데 사실 그런 부분이 궁금해요. 왜 이런 미션에서 그런 부분이 나왔는지 어떤 얘기가 오갔는지. You know, part of training and development's job is kind of like career counseling or career guidance. So we're always speaking with the girls, the specialists are speaking with the girls, checking in with them, making sure, you know, they feel they're headed down the right path and, you know, should they be eliminated, what do they think is next for themselves. We always have those conversations with them so that they're mentally prepared for anything that that could happen. When I was checking in with Nayang for her monthly one-on-one -on -one check in, something concerning she had said to me was that she is concerned if she makes a group, she could be taking a spot from somebody that really wants it. And that within a couple of years, she could see herself maybe quitting and becoming a solo artist. But we're so far in the timeline and we're so close to group member selection for that to be a, a thought that's waving heavily on you and it is heartbreaking, I think both for her probably and for us because she is very talented. And I think what's best for her is what she initially thought and I know that there's 12 other girls that really, really, really want this opportunity. It's definitely bittersweet, but if someone's had an inception of that thought, to put them in a group is, is difficult in my opinion, because if they've started to feel that way, you know, we're trying to build a group that transcends time, and if we have someone in the group that's not sure they want to be in a group, I think that, as you say, it takes away a spot from people who have been, you know, the others that have been training relentlessly for uh, just shy of two years, and I think that's, that's something we definitely need to consider. I also think, you know, this group is the future of our label. It's the first group under the label, and I think this opportunity is huge, and we have to have partners that feel the same way mm -hmm. and that they really want this too, mm -hmm. so. Okay, so I think that's a perfect segue into Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Emily, Ezrella, Ua, 
and some more. I think this mission is about concepts and I think they nailed this song. And I think when we first spoke about you know, all the different songs we were going to use for it, I think this song to me stood out, stood out as one that would maybe be a challenge just because of the Spice Girls and the energy that they brought to it. Um, but I think all four of these contestants really came together and perfectly honed it in. Um, Um, I know that there's two major labels working on this project, but I don't think what everyone gets to see is how hard these girls work. Um, and they're also human beings. <laughs> so I don't think I, I talked about, but Ezrello um, lost someone very close to her recently. So on top of dealing with that as a normal human being, you know, she also perform gave that performance, which I think is one of her best. And I don't think anybody on set knew that. Um, and anyone outside of TNT knew that. But, you know, these girls, they go through injury and illness and, um, heartbreak and all really, really real human being things, and they are doing everything they can to be considered to be a group member. So, yeah, I, I hope that people just know that. I think as we wrap, I want to extend my heartfelt thank you to Missy, not just for today and giving your valuable insight, but just for everything over the last two years and, you know, your guidance for all of the contestants, I think, has been instrumental to all of this. So thank you so much and thank you for coming today. So that was mission three. Yeah. Now we're into the final stretch, which feels very, very surreal to say that. You know, we have one final elimination left and then we're in the top 10 and we get to the live show and then we unveil the group. And I think the pressure and the tension has never been this high. And it feels, you know, as I say, it feels surreal to be in this spot. Um, so get ready. This is it. Let's right. do it. <laughs> Good evening guys, here we are for the final discussion, mission three, the artistry mission. First and foremost, congratulations to each and every one of you for completing all three missions from the Dream Academy. You all have come so far as artists, embracing this journey with unyielding determination. From your auditions to day one of your training, your stories have been woven into a tapestry of passion, resilience, and growth. Through the countless hours of practice and the tears of frustration, you forged an unbreakable sisterhood. Your talent and commitment have left us all in awe. Your dreams have become a shared aspiration, and the world has watched you transform into shining stars. And now, after an incredible journey filled with countless unforgettable moments, 
It's time to reveal the 10 contestants who will be joining us for the live finale. The top two contestants have earned a spot in the finale. Lara, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. And our top ranked contestant is Sophia. Please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. There are eight invitations left to the three incredibly talented artists who won't continue on this journey. Please know that your dreams remain alive. Your journey doesn't end here. It's merely a new beginning. Azrella, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Daniela, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Emily, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Samara, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Manan, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Marquise, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. To the five of you remaining, the competition has been fierce and your talent undeniable. But there are only two invitations left to the finale. Your dreams are within reach and the moment of truth is upon us. Megan, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Your passion and talent is undeniable. You've been through an incredible journey together. And now, with only one invitation left for the live finale, this decision is incredibly difficult. Yoon Che, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Your journeys have been a testament to your dedication and each one of you have shown brightly in your own unique way. The live finale awaits and the world is eager to witness the magic you'll create on that stage. This whole experience in general was so important and so amazing to me. It was literally such a dream and I can't believe that I got this far. Sorry. This is so hard. Globally다 보니까 이런 경험이 좀 진짜 흔치가 않잖아요. 그래서 그런 좀 뜻깊게 이렇게 
새로운 시도들을 정말 많이 할수 있을 것 같아. 뭔가 이렇게 타지까지 왔는데 다른 걸 못하겠어? 약간 이런 마인드가 생긴 것 같아. 페리나 아카데미와 와다시에이토테 토테모 세이초에 되기테 토테모 오키나 찬스데 토테모 세이초에 되기마시. 페리나 아카데미와 私がドリームアカデミーに参加してたくさんの貴重な経験をさせていただいてとても全てが大切でかけがえのない経験を私にとって夢にぽちかづけられた経験になりました I feel like I have learned in g r o u n d so much because when I first got here I was a totally different person and now I'm like the best version of myself I remember when I auditioned I had like <laughs> zero like expectations I was like I'm not gonna pass this audition of course and then I remember my first email that was the best day ever <laughs> ぼんがくぐいとくんとちっちゃがいしいたらなんかくろきくんじょんのげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげげ
really did feel like a dream come true. I'm so glad. I got the opportunity to meet everyone here. Sorry, it's like really hard to talk. <laughs> We're all here for the same reason, and that's to chase our dreams. The blood, sweat, and tears that we've put into this. We all have been waiting for so long. And that's why I'm happening. Dream, dream, swing, swing, dream, dream academy. If you want it, take it. I should have said it before. Dear Marquis, dear Manon, dear Sophia, we are delighted to extend our heartfelt congratulations to you. Your exceptional talent has been selected as one of the top 20 from around the globe, earning you a coveted spot in the Dream Academy. The debut, Dream Academy Live Finale. What's up? All my people in the audience here, all my people at home, what is good? Welcome to the debut Dream Academy Live Finale right here in Los Angeles. That's what I'm talking about. That's the energy I need. 
It's right here on this stage that we will be announcing the winners and brand new members of the Global Girl Group Project debut, presented to you by Geffen and High Records. I'm your host, Tetris Kelly, and I will be taking you through the past, the present, and the future of all things Dream Academy. Now listen, this global project started in 2021 with 120,000 applicants from all around the world. Fans all over the map have tuned in and supported the dreams of the girl group hopefuls for three months. Now, it's no secret, I'm their biggest fan. I'm what they would call a day one. And it seems like just yesterday that I had the pleasure of introducing each contestant to all of you back in August at the first The Debut Dream Academy press conference. Now fast forward, today I'm honored to be back with the contestants to reveal which finalists will be a part of the iconic girl group to come out of Dream Academy. We are live all over the world, streaming on Hive Label's YouTube channel, global fandom live platform Weverse, and Japan's biggest over the top platform, Abema. Now let's kick off this incredible night by taking a look back at our finalists' fantastic journey. The debut Dream Academy has gathered together 20 of the most talented aspiring artists from around the world who have a dream, talent, and heart. All sharing one dream, one goal, all vying to be in one global girl group. We're all here for the same reason and that's to chase our dreams. The blood, sweat, and tears that we've put into this Tough eliminations and goodbyes. It's been hard. It really did feel like a dream come true. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to meet everyone here. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about like a lot of things right now. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Recently, I made a really hard decision that I will be leaving the Dream Academy. I'm so glad I met you. Creating friendships that will last forever. I truly love this group so much. Being surrounded by all these amazing girls. We had so much fun and we really became this group of best friends. We just get like along so well. All to be one of the top 10 finalists to perform their final mission on a global stage. Tonight, we will find out who will make the debut to become the new Global Girl Group. I honestly could not see myself doing anything else. Like, this is the only thing I picture myself doing. Hi, my name is Daniela. Hi, everyone. I'm Samara. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Emily. Hello. My name is Sophia. Hi, my name is Manon. Hi, my name is Marquis. Hello, my name is Sinche. Hey, I'm Laura Rod. Hi, I'm Megan. Hello, my name is Isabella. This is the debut. Dream Academy, live finale. It's time to meet the 10 finalists of the debut Dream Academy live finale. Sophia from the Philippines. Ezrella from Australia. Laura from the USA. Daniela from the USA. Marquis from Thailand. No, from Switzerland. Samara from Brazil.
Emily from the USA. Che from Korea. <laughs> Megan from the USA. <laughs> My girls, you look so good. I'm so proud of you. I feel like a proud dad at this point. Everybody, let's hear for these amazing 10 finalists who have overcome the incredible 1 to 12,000 odds to be here. 1 to 12,000. That is wild. However, there's one thing we haven't told you. Tonight, the number of contestants that will make their dream into a reality will only be That's right, 10 remain, but only six will walk out of here a part of a global girl group. They've all spent months together honing in their craft and building a sisterhood, but only six will become the final members. It's in your hands now, guys, by showing your support to your favorite Dream Academy contestants by voting now. This is the mechanism to determine the final debuting members of the debut Dream Academy Live Finale. The final six debuting members will be determined by 50 points from fan voting and 50 points from judges' scores. Fan voting works as follows. Fan voting combines the early voting with maximum points of 40 and the live voting with a maximum point of 10. The following are the judging criteria. Dance. Vocal, star quality, attitude, team chemistry. Here is how you can vote during the live show. After logging into Weverse, please tap the Dream Academy banner at the top. Then tap on the vote button at the bottom. Out of these 10, please select the contestant you support. Daniela from the US. Emily from the US, Israela from Australia, Laura from the US, Manang from Switzerland, Marquis from Thailand, Megan from the US, Sophia from the Philippines, Samara from Brazil, Yun Che from Korea. After you select three contestants, Tap the vote button to complete the voting process. Please cast your final votes now. Before tonight, fans all over the world were given the opportunity to participate in early voting, which opened on November 10th and ended this morning. Those votes will be combined with tonight's live finale votes. So fans, your job isn't done yet. It's time to let your voice be heard and vote again. Your one vote could change the outcome tonight and help make somebody's dream come true. So it's important for all of you to vote. Now, while fans' finale votes are essential, 50% of this important decision will be in the hands of a very special group of people. My friends, our judges, give it up. <laughs> Please give it up for executive creator of HXG, Sun Sun Duke. <laughs> the president of HXG, Mitra Dara. Geffen Senior Vice President of a and and Marketing, Charlie Christie. 
These three have witnessed the growth of our 10 finalists from the very beginning of their experience here on Dream Academy. And we get to hear their evaluations and insights about our finalists today. Now, son, you have played a vital role in creating and raising the seven BTS members to be global icons. I know I'm ARMY. Clearly, everybody here and watching at home is ARMY as well. So I'm curious, what's your criteria for judging the contestants? Mm, 댄서 보컬은 너무나도 기본적인 것 같고 그리고 이제 참가자들의 음, 케미스트리와 그리고 그 안에서 개인적으로 빛나는 스타 퀄리티를 중요하게 생각을 하고 이제 바라볼 예정인데 아무래도 제일 중요한 거는 어, 드림 아카데미의 참가자로서 그간의 여정이 있어서 음악을 사랑하고 무대를 소중하게 생각했고 그리고 오늘 이 무대를 얼마나 진정성 있는 마음으로 임하는지를 가장 중요하게 바라볼 예정입니다. Dance and vocals, of course, are given, and then also the chemistry between the participants, the members, and also the individual star quality that will shine within that team. Uh, so I'll be looking for these, but most of all, I'll be looking for the attitude of an artist that's seen throughout the journey, and as well as their love for the music, and how sincere they are in the way they approach their performance right here today. Yeah, you know a thing or two or seven about star quality, so we'll believe you on that, son. And tonight in the audience, we have some special guests who wanted to be here to celebrate this grand moment. Chairman Bang of Hive and Chairman and CEO of Interscope Geffen A&M, John Janik. Make some noise. Yeah, those two are kind of a big deal. Okay, so here's how it's going to go down. The 10 finalists will split into two teams of five for the final assignment. We will introduce the five contestants of Team A, who will be the first to perform. Now, we've collected data and statistics from around the world to show you why these finalists are strong debut candidates. The first contestant of Team A, the candidate with a strong voting base across Asia, Emily. The second member of Team A. She rose a stunning 12 spots from Mission 1 to Mission 2, Daniela. The third member of Team A. Not only did she rank first from her native country, she has a strong voting fan base across the Middle East, Yun Che. The fourth member of Team A. Her social presence skyrocketed after her performance in Mission 3. It's Marquis. And the fifth and final member of Team A, the number one pick from Russia, China, Turkey, and Kazakhstan, Megan. For their final assignment, these five contestants will showcase an original song that is going to be revealed to the world for the first time right now. The missions have all been so different. Every time that I had any performance, especially with the program, it was just like, this is my purpose. I'm meant to be here. I'm meant to perform. I'm meant to share my love and passion for art with the audience. And I know that this is what I'm meant to do. Now, every time I perform a dance, I'm like, what's the message? What's the story? I think that really, really helped me tap into my performance and tap into the artist that I am now. I've learned how to be more free. Do what makes you happy and don't think much about how it satisfies other people. It's important to be vulnerable. It's important to push your boundaries and try something new because that's where you see the growth. 다른 미션 곡들은 무대 같은 거 찾아보면 많이 볼수 있으니까 연습하기가 더 편했는데 이런 아주 새로운 곡으로 새로운 안무에다가 이렇게 하는 거는 처음엔 어려웠고 근데. 이 곡으로 계속 연습을 하고 하다 보니까 제가 완벽하게 이해하도록 더 노력. I feel like Girls Don't Like Girls is such a like upbeat hype song, and I feel like that's very much me. Like I'm always the hype girl for all the girls. I'm like, y'all got this. 
kind of like an anthem for girls. Like, girls don't like girls who hate girls in this world. Like, we should all just be together, like, support girls. It's just all about sisterhood, all about love, staying together despite the differences. And it's almost like our unifying song and just saying, this is us. Like, we don't care. Like, we're going to keep being us. I think I just want the audience to feel really proud of us, even since that first press conference, like just us standing there saying our names and where we're from to where we are now and literally performing original songs, like that's so amazing and so insane. This program is the last one to show us the best model. I'm really excited to show you the best model I want to show you the best model. I want to show you the best model I want to show you the best model I want to show you the best model I want to show you. It's been a long journey. I feel like I've gotten to know so many people that I thought I, I never would during this time. I really hate seeing people go. It makes me really emotional. But I think thinking about the positive, like even if we don't get in the group or people that don't make it into the group, like I think it's a beginning of a new chapter and they can keep pursuing their dreams. We did it! We did it! Debuting through Dream Academy would be literally the most amazing thing in the entire world. This girl group is it's, it's one of a kind. It's a global girl group and being a part of something so amazing and so life changing, it would just mean everything to me. And I really want to make an impact with the rest of the girls to the world. And we're so grateful for all the things that we got to experience here. I mean, like, who would have thought? Alright, thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Wait, can I go like this? Oh. Yeah. Can we do it together? Wait, girls don't like girls. Two, two, one. Girls don't like girls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's do it one more time. Girls don't like girls plus Danny. We out. Otherwise, I feel like a psychopath. Does that make you mad? Ooh, uh, better than your average Top gun maverick Why's it gotta matter if it's got a little plastic? Does that make you sad? Oh, little screens of things with jealousy It's feeding all this drum Sipping tea that we don't need Acting like we don't see the karma But you know it's coming though And no one wants a one-man show Tell the real ones, the real ones know That girls don't like boys who make noise That make noise that don't back it up Girls don't like girls who hate girls in this world It just don't add up And they don't like fuss, it's too much We just came here to show ya It's all love, baby Yeah, it's all love Live, love, laughing, keeping it classic Clear skin, trying to stay unproblematic and in my bag Ow! Oh, little screens with things with jealousy It's feeding all this drama Sip and see that we don't need Acting like we don't see the karma But you know it's coming though you know it's coming And no one wants a one-man show no one wants a one-man I can tell the real ones The real ones know That girls don't like boys who make noise That make noise that don't back it up Wow, I mean, I'm looking for the crumbs and I can't find them because y'all ate, ladies. I mean, wow, the girls really left it all out on the floor with that performance. But now it's time to hear what the judges thought and who their top pick is. 
Charlie, even in the previous missions, you gave a comment on growth. So what did you think today? Yeah, I think that performance was no exception. You know, every mission we've seen such growth and glimpses of each individual contestant's artistry and that performance just showed that they are artists in their own right, so that was amazing. That's a big compliment, but you do have to make a top pick. Yeah. It's so hard. Um, <laughs> the pressure's on you, man. I know. I know. Um, it's so difficult. I mean, Emily, for example, I hope you don't mind me calling you out like this, but you went from not being able to perform in a room of four people absolutely petrified to being able to do that, and that is amazing. However, my top pick is Daniela. <laughs> Consistently, mission after mission, you've shown us exactly what you're capable of, and then you raise the bar again and again, and that performance was no exception. I know you had some personal obstacles that you had to overcome, but I'm so proud and grateful that you did that. And I know that tonight and that performance will just solidify for everyone watching what I've seen from day one. So thank you. No. And Charlie, it's so great that you have the personal connection with them to give that kind of feedback. Mitra, you've also been with the girls from the beginning. So what were your thoughts on the performance and how far they've come? I loved it. I actually think that this is my favorite look and just the whole vibe of this performance was incredible. But seeing them grow, some excelled in vocals, some excelled in dance, but all of them tonight just killed it. And it's a true testament to the training and development and all their hard work and everything that you guys have done is worth it to see you guys tonight. It's incredible. Oh, you're gonna make me emotional, <laughs> stop. Make a pick though, make a pick. Uh, I have a pick, uh, but I definitely want to give a shout out to Yoon Che because I feel like someone who doesn't know English <laughs> as well has just been growing her confidence, performance after performance. But my top pick is Megan. I think She's one of the most alluring artists I've seen. Every performance, she draws me in. I think she just kills it every single time. The best. Thanks, Mitra. Now, Mr. Sun, I'm sure everybody's curious. What were your thoughts on this performance? 네, 어 너무 잘 봤고 너무 멋있게 잘본 무대였던 것 같아요. 특히 이 다섯 명의 팀워크 너무 뛰어났었던 것 같고 또그 안에서 개개인의 매력이 어 정말로 멋지게 잘 드러났던 무대였던 것 같은데 제가 여지껏 보지 못했던 그런 매력들도 볼수 있어서 너무 흥미롭게 봤었던 무대였던 것 같습니다. And that was really great. Everybody did such a great job, and the teamwork of all five members as a single team that was really, really excellent. And I was really impressed also by how the unique charm and individuality of each contestant show it's shown through that teamwork as well. And I was able to see, I was really happy to see, you know, charms and really unique things that I haven't been able to see before today here at the performance. Teamwork makes the dream work, but you have to make a top pick. <sighs> 메간과 마키를 우선 얘기를 좀 드리고 싶어요. 그러니까 이 무대를 보면서 너무나도 인상 깊게 봤었는데 특히 어 메간은 사실 이 드림 아카데미에서 제일 많이 성장한 참가자라고 저는 개인적으로 생각을 했거든요. 근데 오늘 무대를 보고 아마 여기 계신 또전 세계에서 보고 계신 많은 분들이 아마 저의 생각과 공감을 하셨을 거라고 생각을 합니다. 그리고 마키는 사실 어, 지난 미션들을 거쳐오면서 제가 무대에서 본인을 보여줘야 된다, 뚫고 나와야 된다라는 얘기를 정말로 많이 했었었는데 드디어 오늘 정말로 뚫고 나온 것 같아요. 정말로 멋지게 극복하고 나온 것 같아서 너무 뜻깊고 너무 벅차고 너무 기쁘게 봤었던 것 같아요. 아 그래서 저의 탑 픽을 말씀드리자면 메간입니다. So I also have two names in mind. 
uh, and they are Megan and Marquis. So Megan did such a great job. You know, I've always felt that Megan was the contestant that's grown the most throughout the Dream Academy. And I think everyone here, everyone in the world realized what I mean and what I believe and saw the same thing when they saw the performance here today. And then Marquis as well. I've told Marquis throughout the, all the performances that she needs to really show who she is. And I think finally, she completely came through with this performance. So I was really, really happy to see this growth to this change. I was so, so happy to see that. And, but my top pick, as I said, is Megan. Guys, I am not jealous of your job. Thank you, judges, for all your evaluations. And guys, thanks to Team A for an amazing performance. You guys can go ahead and exit the stage, ladies. Good job. Yes, oh, well, miss me there. Oh, I got you, I got you, boom, boom. Now, give it up one more time for Team A. With that kind of talent we have here today, this is gonna be a tough decision to make. And that's why your votes at home play a huge role. So please don't forget to vote. And now it's time for the members of Team B to perform their final assignment. Just like Team A, every member of Team B are strong candidates for the debut Dream Academy. The members of Team B are ranking first in votes from six European countries, Mano. The second member of Team B, the candidate who's consistently ranked in the magic number top six, Laura. The third member of Team B, always ranking in the top views for all three mission fan cams, Samara. The fourth member of Team B. This contestant had the most diverse fan base from all age groups who viewed her fan cams. Ezrella. And the fifth member of Team B. She's ranked first in an amazing 62 countries and regions out of the 186 that voted in. Sophia. Just like Team A, Team B will also showcase an original song. Let's take a look at how and what they have prepared. So much energy just comes out of your eyes and your smile, and it's just, it's always so refreshing watching you. At the beginning of this program, I didn't think I had star quality. I didn't think I had all this confidence. I didn't think I was where I am today. I think mission two was definitely my most difficult mission because it was very dance heavy and I came into this program a singer, very much not a dancer. I never stopped talking about this, but the day I met John Janik was probably one of the best days of my life because that was a day in the program where I was like, okay, this is really real. Especially coming like from a small town in Switzerland. Like, it's, yeah, it was insane. I want Dirty Water to show a culmination of our hard work and our training and what we want our artistry to go towards. And I want them to feel like the best, like hottest version of themselves. This song is so feel good. It's about like going out, having fun, like being with your girls and feeling really good about yourself and forgetting all your problems. Yes, go Lucy. I feel like really grateful to get to this point, but at the same time sad because we were all friends and at some point we had to say goodbye to each other. But. I'm just trying to enjoy the moment with them and those last 10 days like as much as possible. Okay. She helped me with the crutches. She's like, I'm gonna stay here in case you fall. She's uh -huh. back on the <laughs> I've said a lot of goodbyes. Being in this program, my mindset every time I have to say goodbye to one of the girls is really that I'm gonna see them again. And I feel like that really makes the goodbye a lot happier than it is. With each mission, there is more of a fire lit under me because it's in my fingertips now. Uh, Sophia is also my mom. <laughs> She's my mother. Mommy Millie. I feel like debuting in the Dream Academy is so important to me because I've found a place where I can truly 
grow as a person, as an artist, and even just as a woman in general. I want to be in this group where I can show Indian girls and, and young brown girls that you can look like yourself and it's going to be okay because I used to think when I was little that because of the way I looked, I couldn't do the things that I saw other people doing. Debut would mean like everything to me and especially changing my family's reality. I think I really found my place here, the Dream Academy, so it would mean the world to me to debut. And you know tonight I can Daddy wouldn't earn my cup Feeling like a million bucks right now You wanna know your friends should come mm, Can't even remember what But they ever said they got me down Thought that I could tell this love And you know tonight I can't Control myself No, I just can't Control myself I just wanna let go Not myself Can't work it out, yeah, I've been thinking Tonight is meant for us You know that we're only young right now Come and get you all this love, oh And you know tonight I can't Control myself No, I just can't get Control myself I just wanna let go I love myself Well, can I work it out? Yeah, I've been thinking Yes, yes, ladies, now I want to dance it off, all right? Next time I just need the silver memo. I know this has to be a tough call for our three judges. Both teams clearly came to play tonight. Charlie, please take us to your thoughts on this, this performance. <laughs> uh, I loved it. I think hearing you guys talk about what this song means to you before, I think you really captured that in that performance, so thank you for doing that. Now, after watching it, were you able to make a top pick? <laughs> I don't want to sound like that person, but it is really, really hard. To, like, well, now genuinely. you're that person. Um, I mean, look, Ezrella, I know during Wannabe, we got to see the charm you exude and the joy you exude through your performances and through the whole competition, and it really is felt throughout. My top pick on this one is Sophia. You know, every single performance, even when you are 
I hope you don't mind me saying this, so sick at 4 a.m. during <laughs> mission three, you always show up with such determination and poise, and that was no exception in that performance. And you're so rooted and confident, and you constantly strive to better yourself and everyone around you, and it really shows, so that's my choice. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Mitra, how was Dance It Off? I mean, I loved it. I mean, there's nothing else that anyone can say about it. It's just great. And it's honestly one of my favorite songs, so to see them perform to it and just bring the energy that it needs, it was great. I loved it. But who brought the most energy? Well, just from, look, obviously I talked to these guys. I know that Samara was feeling herself in that outfit, and she looks so good in it, and she sounds amazing, so I love it. And she just lights up every performance. But my top pick is Sophia. Yeah. Congrats, Sophia. Yeah. To, to me, Sophia is just an all around leader. The way she carries herself on stage, off stage, she's just an example for everyone. I think she's incredible. She's a star. <laughs> Son, what was your thoughts on Team B's performance? 사실 이 퍼포먼스가 보컬적으로도 그렇고 안무적으로도 그렇고 사실 쉽지 않은 무대였었다고 저는 생각을 하는데 어 저희 참가자들이 얼마만큼 연습을 했고 또 준비를 했고 성장을 했는지를 이 무대를 통해서 좀볼수 있게 돼서 너무 기쁘고 뿌듯했었던 무대였던 것 같습니다. So this performance, this song, is not easy, both for the vocals and for the choreo as well, but you know, everybody worked so hard to prepare, and I'm really happy that I saw a performance that showed you know, how much they prepared, how much they practiced, and how much they've grown throughout this whole process. They've put a lot of hard work in, but who will be your top pick? Hmm. 네, 어 저는 우선 너무 이 무대를 통해서 인상 깊게 봤었던 어, 두 참가자는 라라랑 마논이었어요. 그래서 어, 라라는 사실 보컬적인 부분보다도 퍼포먼스적인 부분이 제가 개인적으로 좀 걱정을 많이 했었던 참가자 중에 한 명이었는데 오늘 무대로 보고 어, 무대에서 보여주는 에너지도 그렇고 사실 이팀 자체를 끌고 갈수 있을 만큼 너무나도 많이 성장했다라는 느낌을 받아서 개인적으로 너무 어, 기뻤고요. 그 마노는 어, 미션들이 거듭되면 될수록 계속 성장을 해왔고 사실 지금도 성장을 하고 있는 것 같아요. 그러니까 이 무대를 보면서 또좀 의미 있게 봤었던 게 어, 실력도 향상이 되지만 무대에 대한 집중도가 너무 좋아진 것 같았어요. 그래서 제가 사실 보면서 너무 놀랐어요. 그래서 마노도 너무 의미 있고 어, 너무 기쁜 마음으로 무대를 볼수 있어서 너무 기뻤던 것 같아요. 하지만 어 제가 탑 픽을 한명 말씀드리자면 라라. So I have uh, two people in mind when I saw this. Everybody did such a great job, but Manong and Lara really stood out. You know, for Lara, compared to your vocal skills, your performance skills have always sort of worried me, to be honest. But watching today's performance, I was happy to see that Lara's skills have grown to a point where she can show off not just her own charms, but actually boost the entire team's performance. So I was so happy to see that. I was so happy to see that from Lara. For Manong, you know, I've seen her Manong grow through the missions, and, I've, and she's still growing. And, but watching today's performance was a really welcome sight to me because seeing, I was able to see not how she's only grown, not just in skills, but she's also grown in how she focuses and her concentration for the performance. So I was actually really surprised and I was really happy to see this. However, my top pick is Lara. Wow, thank you so much, son, for that beautiful explanation. Thanks for your thoughts and evaluations. Judges, everybody here, I can't wait to see how the viewers are going to vote on these contestants as well. So give it up for Team B. What a fabulous performance, ladies. You can go ahead and exit. Thank you. You can go ahead and head backstage. Good job, ladies. Good job. Give it up one more time, guys, for Team B. They gave it their all. Now listen. Voting is about to close. Soon, what we will get 
is what we have been waiting for. What is the fate of the 10 girls and who will leave here part of the global girl group of the debut Dream Academy? Let's count down together to the final seconds of voting. Four, three, two, one. Voting is closed. That's right, this inspiring project has proven to be anything but basic. So let's take a look at the artistry of this beautiful experience that is the Dream Academy. Are you coming or not?
Don't you know we're all the same? Don't you know that everybody wants to be loved? Don't you know we're all afraid sometimes? Understand that everybody bleeds when they cut. Can somos todos iguais? Por que somos todos iguais? Por que somos todos iguais? E no fim do dia. Every time I watch that video, I'm just so blown away. It's very clear to see these 10 global girl group hopefuls were brought together by fate. And even though they first met as competitors, they're leaving sisters. They've bonded despite their differences in nationality, language, and background. And that is what I love so much about this project. So let's take a look back at their magical time together. I thought Dream Academy was just going to be a bunch of us girls competing to be in a girl group. And now that I look back at that, it's much more than that. These girls feel like the sisters I never had. Everything that's happened so far is completely different from what I expected. I feel like when I first started this, it was very much about training and just getting better at what I'm doing and I feel like now I'm finally thinking about how I am as an artist. Dream Academy를 하면서 꿈이랑 엄청 가까워지는 그런 프로그램이다 보니까 그냥 하고 싶은 게 뭔지 그런 것들도 더 뭔가 자세하게 알수 있을 것 같아요. I think during my time here I've really gotten to put the full stop on that career and now I know for sure that it's something that I want to do, that I want to be an artist and I want to perform and I, I want to share my passions with the world and inspire them and you know show them that your hard work will pay off and that you can achieve your dreams if you just work really hard. When we practiced the song and when we heard the song and when we recorded the song, it really touched a lot of us, especially going through this program. We're all from like different parts of the world and we all have the same dream to become a performer and to become an artist and that really unifies all of us. We still get along together so well even with our differences. So that's why I think All The Same is such a special song because it's also not about just the world but it's about our story that we're living right now. There's this one part in the song where I kind of ask a question. How much war can a world withstand? And I feel like especially right now that question holds so much weight and it's such an important question to ask yourself. It's very bittersweet preparing for all the same because while we're performing this, it's literally a song about unity and being together and us all being the same, not just as humans, but having the same dream, having the same goal. And then it hits you at times when you're all like holding hands in a circle singing the song that in just a few days, like it's not gonna be all of us in the circle. I really do hope that the audience feels the bond that we have created with each other and I hope that through this performance they feel excited for the future of this group and really believe in the message that we're trying to 
transcend through not just the song, but just by being this global group. Because we're all so different, and I think just that stage itself of seeing all these different girls singing and dancing together and speaking about being the same, I think that is going to touch them in a really special way because I think it really shows a lot of unity. To all my nine sisters, I'm so, so proud of all of you. You guys have made it so far and good luck. You guys got this. You're all so very talented and beautiful and I'm so proud that I got to be in the top 10 with such amazing, talented, strong, independent women. You guys make my day so, so, so bright every single day. I am so grateful for each and every one of you because you guys have helped me so much and have really shaped me into the person I am today. So no matter what happens, I love you and I want to thank you for being there for me. And everyone has a special place in my heart and to be able to find you guys, my family, is really special to me and I'll always be there for you. No matter what happens, we're sisters at this point. Hi, I'm Ryan from the United States. I wanted to share my idea on what All the Same from Dream Academy meant. So I believe that the song All the Same is a really great song to describe everything that Dream Academy stands for. I think it really puts the idea that um, even though we may come from all different backgrounds, we are all human. We um, all feel the same hurt. We um, all have the same aspirations. And I think that's really what Dream Academy is about, taking girls from all over the world and you know putting them together to show that they can make a really good group together. Hi guys, thank you so, so, so much for showing all your love and support and hearing encouraging words has just pushed me even harder to make sure that I can do my best for you guys and I never thought I would make this far but you were there for me and I'm really, really grateful I am for all of you and I promise to keep working hard every single day. I look at your guys' comments and your guys' posts and edits and everything. It just makes my heart feel so happy and content and I feel like I'm achieving my goal already and I love you guys so much. It's been incredible. You don't even know how much it means to me. It makes me so happy to see brown girls especially and just brown people in general that have actually said like, I actually feel represented because of you. Like I've never seen someone that looks like us do something like this and A dream that a young girl had alone in her room has become a dream shared with the whole world. Despite the different cultures, regions, and languages, these 10 members have all the same heart. For the first time ever, they will sing all the same, all together. This is crazy. I know I've been waiting for this, haven't you? Yes! Come on. And now, for their last time on stage together under the name Dream Academy, here is All the Same. Everybody's all in competition Reaching new lows for the upper hand Fighting each other for attention How much work could a war withstand? No. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know all the answers Why we're all on a different page Heaven knows, heaven knows, heaven knows There's no first or last when we're all in the human race Evan. 
Wow, hold on. Wait, no, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. It was so good, it was so good. Give it up for our 10 finalists, everybody. Wow. I am just so proud. You guys can go ahead and head out. Go ahead, thank you, man. Wow, that was so cool. It was like at a concert. The energy here is hot. That marks the last time all of you and our judges will have seen a performance by those 10 finalists together. Judges, ah, oh man, this has to be like bittersweet for you to see how far the members have come. Mitra, I know you've been a part of this entire journey with all of your success helping making music legends. What makes this experience so special for you? I mean, I can't lie. This has been one of the most intense experience of my career, but it has been so, so, so fun. Uh, Hybe and Geffen Records are creating history. We're making history with this global girl group. So to be a part of it is a privilege. But I do want to give a shout out to the Hybe and Geffen team for working so hard to make this moment come to life. Thank you. There's been so much work going into this. And your career is inspiring. So what did you think of the Dream Academy's Final performance is 10. Well, it's hard to talk. It was, it's emotional, <laughs> you know? It's really emotional to see all 10 of them on stage and to just see them grow. It's been incredible. I can't believe that 12 weeks ago, we started out with their first mission and now we're here. Um, I'm just so proud of them and I hope that they understand that no matter what happens tonight, they have a beautiful future ahead of them. Couldn't agree with you more. Son, what makes these girls and this project so unique compared to your epic, amazing career? 네, 음, 아무래도 글로벌 걸그룹 프로젝트였고 또 그만큼 전 세계 많은 국가와 지역에서 참가자들이 모였다라는 것만으로도 저에게는 너무나도 어, 새로웠고 흥미로웠던 것 같아요. 그래서 이 기존에 없었던 이런 프로젝트를 저도 이제 함께 하면서 많은 것들을 느끼고 또 배우고 어, 좀 많은 것들을 이제 알아가는 또 새로운 것들도 많이 알아가는 그런 귀한 시간이었던 것 같은데 음, 제 저한테 크게 다가왔었던 거는 그 다양성이 가지고 있는 에너지와 힘이 너무나도 크다라는 거를 이 프로젝트를 통해서 좀 알게 된것 같아요. 그래서 앞으로 이 프로젝트가 또 앞으로의 여정이 더욱 더 기대됩니다. So this, since this is a global girl group project, you know the fact that we have contestants from so many countries and regions around the world, I think that's what made this project really stand out to me and you know this was an unprecedented project and being a part of this I've been able to experience things and learn new things by being here and one thing that again really um, is important to me is that through this project I think I've once again realized the great power that diversity has so I think uh, I'll be continue to look forward to this group and this this project Beautifully put. Love you, Legend Man. That's amazing. And what did you think of the final performance? Oh, 그 top 10의 참가자들이 처음이자 어, 마지막으로 이렇게 다 같이 모여서 퍼포먼스를 했는데 너무 감동적이게 봤어요. 아마 모든 분들이 다 그렇게 보셨을 거라고 생각이 드는데 음, 무대를 보면서 어, 지난 드림 아카데미의 여정과 또 참가자들의 성장과 또 소중하고 막 즐거웠던 그런 막 추억들이 회상이 되는 아주 그런 감동적인 무대였던 것 같아서 너무 벅찼고 또 한편으로는 
이렇게 무대를 통해서 사람들에게 감동을 줄수 있기가 정말 쉽지가 않은데 정말로 많이 성장했다라는 생각이 들어서 너무나도 뿌듯했고 또 참가자들에게 너무 감사했고 그동안 정말 많이 수고했다라고 어, 인사를 드리고 싶었습니다. So this was the first and uh, the final performance with all top 10 finalists of the Dream Academy. So I was, I was deeply moved by seeing everyone come together as one. You know, this performance reminded me, and I, I think everyone else as well, of the, the entire Dream Academy journey, how everyone has grown. It reminded me of all the, the precious and the fun moments and memories that we've shared. It really made me emotional. You know, it's not easy to move a group of people, you know, with a performance. And I'm so happy that everyone has grown so much to be able to do that, to put on such a great performance. And I want to congratulate everyone on this great achievement. And Charlie, I mean, you gotta tell us, how did you feel watching the top 10 finalists perform for the last time together? Mm. I think emotional is an understatement. And I know there are a lot of people in this room that feel that. I'm forever proud of every single one of those 10 contestants that were up there tonight. I mean, for who they've become, what they've had to sacrifice to be up there, and the family that they created along the way. And it has really not been easy. And they're only human, but the strength and tenacity and sheer determination that they've given to be here I will be in awe of them for the rest of my life. So to them, thank you. And whatever happens here for the rest of the night, I hope they know that it should never take away from what they've done and how amazingly talented each and every single one of them are. And above all, it just makes me so excited that we're about to have a group. <laughs> I'm just not jealous of having to put that group together because everybody was amazing. I mean, we asked them how did they feel. How did you guys feel about the performance? <laughs> right? I mean, so, so emotional in here. But even though the excitement is building and we're about to find out which six of our finalists will be joining today's pop stars and becoming the Supergirl group of our era. But before we get to announce the results, let's hear from some important people who wanted to wish our final 10 good luck. Dream Academy finalists, Congratulations on an incredible journey. You all have been so inspiring. 지금 이 자리에서 여러분들이 빛날 수 있는 것은 매 미션에서 보여준 열정과 노력이 있었기 때문입니다. From the early days of the program to the live finale, all of your growth has been truly remarkable. 여러분들이 전 세계에서 받은 응원과 사랑은 대단했고, 여러분들의 퍼포먼스를 통해 글로벌 팬분들과 연결되었습니다. As you stand on the threshold of the next chapter, remember, this is just the beginning. 모든 참가자분들이 정말 대견하고 자랑스럽습니다. 스스로 여기까지 온 자신을 축하해 주십시오. 그리고 여러분들의 여정을 계속해서 응원하겠습니다. Keep dreaming big, keep being yourselves. We are proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations again. Hello. Congratulations on making it this far to the finale. Remember when this started and there were like 70,000 girls auditioning? And now it's you. I want you to have the best, 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 best time tonight. This is just the beginning. That truly means the sky is not the limit. Keep pushing, keep moving. I know that you're going to kill it. I know that you are ready. You should be so proud of yourself. You all deserve to be here. Like, yes. congratulations. Let's go. Let's see on the other side. <laughs> now this is your moment. I want you to go out there, be you, and shine. You guys are so talented, and you deserve to be where you are. You guys have made it, and I am so proud of you guys. I love you guys so much. I miss you like crazy. I hope you guys know that you're amazing no matter what. Sending you so much love. Don't give up and hang in there until the end. And keep shining. Show them what you got and be confident. And I cannot wait for the finale to unravel. Don't forget that today marks the beginning of an amazing journey, no matter the outcome. What do you say? Hang on. 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 Do what you got to do, but I know you can do this. I love you. Good luck. We are 110,000% behind you. Just believe in what you're doing and everything will come true. We love you, Megan! I'm sending you all of my love. Fighting, fighting, fighting! Good luck, Lara! Good luck, you! Good luck, Lara! 
Wishing you all the best. Gambate. I know you've got this. You're gonna be amazing. We love, love you. you. Daniela fighting. Daniela fighting. You make the final. I'm so proud of you. And I know you got this because you are a star. I'm so happy to see you making this far. Mommy's so proud of you. And I am so excited. So, so. Satisfeito de ver você lutar pelos seus ideais com garra para fazer aquilo que você gosta. Samara, nós te amamos! Samara, nós te amamos! I can't wait to see you make your debut. Good luck, Emily. We're so proud of you. Good luck, Emily. You made it. Yeah. You're now a superstar. Yeah. Superstar. We love, love you. I am so, so proud of you. Fighting. We love you. I love you. I miss you, everyone. I love you. That was so good, so cute. Oh, we are getting so close to knowing who will be the new global girl group of your dreams. Before I can reveal the winning members though, we need a name for the group. <laughs> That's right, the process of selecting the perfect name for this perfect group has taken a lot of thought. So take a look at how it all went down. Hey John, can you believe we are here already? After a long 12 weeks of the journey, we are finally about to see the Global Girl Group debut. It's pretty surreal, Bang. But looking back at the Dream Academy journey, seeing each of the contestants grow, that's what made all of our efforts worth it. Absolutely. Our contestants and their performances touch so many people all over the world. Are there any favorite moments of the program for you? 정말 많은데요. 한국에서의 두 번째 미션이 기억에 남습니다. 참가자들이 한국 하이브 사옥을 방문하고 아티스트를 스라핀 분들과도 만났고 저 역시도 잠깐 들려서 인사를 나누면서 정말 뜻깊은 시간이었다고 생각합니다. 조원 대표님은 어떠신가요? I think mine's mission three. As they reached the end of the program, it was very evident to see how much they've grown, and it was refreshing to see the contestants in their three distinct concepts. 전적으로 동감합니다. 그럼 대표님은 글로벌 걸그룹의 미래를 어떻게 바라보고 계신가요? I hope this new global girl group becomes a symbol of empowerment and creativity, not just for the fans, but for the artists and people worldwide. 저도 동의합니다. 저 역시 이 그룹이 새로운 시대와 세대의 목소리를 대표하고 전 세계 젊은 층에게 꿈은 이루어진다라는 영감을 줄수 있기를 바랍니다. Now the big one, the group name. It has to capture our debut group's unique individuality and personalities, right? 맞습니다. 하이브와 개펜이 손을 잡고 시작한 프로젝트이기에 많은 분들이 기대를 하고 있고 새로운 형태의 팀의 탄생을 알리는 거라서 이름을 넘어 그들의 아이덴티티 그리고 이 이름으로 전 세계 글로벌 팬분들과도 연결될 것이라고 생각합니다. It should resonate with them each individually and as a collective. Something that feels right, you know? 예, 동의합니다. 그리고 앞으로 공개할 이 그룹의 새로운 이름은 이들의 출발점이자 최종 데뷔 멤버 한명한 한 명의 아이덴티티를 잘 담을 수 있게 될 것입니다. I can't wait to find out how the contestants will choose the name that will mark the beginning of their brand new journey. 이제 곧 공식 발표될 최종 데뷔 그룹 멤버와 더불어 이 그룹의 행보, 앞으로의 잠재력 역시 매우 기대가 됩니다. Love that. Okay, I got goosebumps. Just seeing this, like I feel like I can see the vision. I think the group name should be fierce, unique, and empowering. And the group name needs to be beautiful. Because for me, this whole journey has been, it's been such a beautiful chapter in my life. Because like this group is so revolutionary, like, it's gonna take over the world. Like it's, it just needs to be iconic. 제가 생각한 세 가지 단어는 트렌디함, 인상 깊은, 그리고 쿨한 느낌. Oh, I like that. I 
I really think the concept is like different and pretty and unique. It gives like such a good vibe and it feels like mysterious. It like stuck around in my head, which is a really good thing. I feel like even if I heard it, it would kind of catch my attention. That I feel like overall it could be really cool because I feel like it's never really been done before and I feel like this group is also a first. Like it feels like us, you know what I mean? Like I feel like all of us can really like fit into that and it's super like fierce and iconic. Like, I think under that name you can do so many things with it. Like It just feels right, you know? I, I have a gut feeling of this being the name. so far. I'll call you over soon, just a second. Now anyone who thought naming a girl group was easy, well, you were wrong. Things are getting real, you guys, because right here in my hand, I'm holding the envelope that has the highly anticipated group name. The group name that will soon be screamed and chanted all over the world. It's actually, there we go. They actually really put some glue on this thing, guys. The global girl group name is Cat's Eye. Cat's eye, cat's eye, cat's eye, cat's eye, cat's eye. Oh man, the girl group ha name has been revealed and the world is already buzzing. The debut Dream Academy live finale is being watched by fans from various countries and the messages are pouring in, which means votes have been coming in from all over the world. Okay, the votes have been tallied which means we are seconds away from announcing the group. These results were a combined vote of the early votes you cast on November 10th till this morning, the votes you cast during this very live finale, and 50% of the decision was in the hands of our esteemed judges. Who will become global pop icons that will touch the lives of fans around the world. We're about to find out right now. It's time to announce who will be the finalists to come out of the Debut Dream Academy winners, the Global Girl Group Debut Project presented by Hyde Geffen Records. We've waited for months and the results are finally in. I can finally reveal which six of these girls will be the new pop icon group that will continue to inspire people around the world with their official debut in 2024. All the contestants who are standing on this stage right now work so hard to be the top 10 out of 120,000 applicants. <laughs> however, however, don't forget, there's only room for six. Now, the moment of truth. If your name is called, please step into the debut zone. In no particular order, the first member making their dream into a reality is from the Philippines. It's Sophia. Step into hi. Oh man, and now the next finalist 
whose dream is about to become a reality is from. You got this. The USA, it's Laura. Congrats, ladies. And now the third member to make her dream into a reality is from. I'm so proud of you all. From Korea, Yoon Che! Seven people have yet to be called, but only three spots remain. The fourth member whose dream is about to become a reality is from. From the USA, Megan! <laughs> you got this, ladies. You got this. You're all queens. Only two more members can make their debut. Which of the six will take the spot? The debuting member is from. The USA, Daniela! This is just too much. This is just too much. I know the feelings, I can feel it in the room, all the fans here. I know you guys at home are feeling it too. Man, and now there is just one spot left. The next name I call will be the final debuting member of the Global Project brought to you by Hybe Geffen Records. The last member will join the five other girls and will debut from Dream Academy. Which one of the five finalists up here on stage will be called and join her new group members in the debut zone? You guys got this. Sisterhood for Life, the member to fulfill her dream today and gain fans all over the world is Mano from Switzerland. Come on over here, girl. Come on. 
Congratulations. Give it up. Ladies, I know the emotions have to be super, super high right now, but the Dream Academy, I'm also sure, has been an amazing journey for you all. Tell me how you feel tonight. Mm, well, first of all, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for supporting us on our journey, and please, please continue to support them. <laughs> what do you feel like you learned? <laughs> what did you learn from your experience? Everything. <laughs> and Samara, I know this is emotional for you as well, but what can you tell me about your journey at the Dream Academy? Um, I feel like I'm just so grateful for everything. I never thought it'd be a top 10. So first of all, I want to say thank you to God for giving me this experience and met all of these girls. <laughs> and thank you to all the fans and people to support me and my family. <laughs> and this experience will be safe for me forever. And I know that God has better plans to my life. He absolutely does. Thank you so much, Samara. <laughs> now, Emily, this journey has been, been incredible. How are you feeling right now? I'm really, really happy to be standing on the stage, just to, <laughs> sorry. It's just okay, take your time. To be in the top 10, never thought it would happen. And I'm so grateful for this experience. I made the best friends here, my sisters, and I'm so grateful. And I'm so proud of you guys. And I can't wait to see your journey. Absolutely, you guys will be friends for life. And finally, Ezrella, what did you learn from the competition? I think I learned everything I ever could have learned from this competition. And even though I'm not in this group, I can 100% say that I am the artist that I imagined I would become. So I, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for believing in me and starting from whoever I started off as at the start, but I think I'm finally where I need to be, so. And I just want to tell you girls this, this is not the end of the road. I'm sure myself, everybody in this room, and all the fans that you have built all along will be following and supporting your careers. Thank you so much, and make sure you go hug the ladies. Now, as you girls say your goodbyes, I would like to ask my remaining girl group to make their way to the dream circles. <laughs> Winners, let's make our way over. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. If I could have my ladies make their way back over. Cat's Eye, come on over here. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. Love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> now, one more time, can you guys make some noise for Cat's Eye? Wow, congratulations, ladies. What an incredible night. I mean, you got to tell me, how you feeling? <laughs> like, I got nothing. I'm in a girl group, y'all. Oh, I feel, I can't even put it into words, but I've worked so hard to be here, and I, I love 
I appreciate everybody who has voted for me, who has been supporting me since day one. My my family, my friends, my sonnies. I wouldn't be here if, I, if it wasn't for you guys and even for everybody in this whole entire project for believing in me and allowing me to grow. I'm so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> and I know you've talked a lot about diversity and representation throughout this competition. So how are you feeling right now? So I can't even like put it into words. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> but um, I think this is everything I've ever wanted in my entire life. Since I came out the womb, like something like this, <laughs> doing music, being an artist, this has been my dream. Representing my brown people has been like my mission since day one. And we're doing it, period. Brown girls up, like let's go. <laughs> Yoon Che, <laughs> what's the vibe, girl? What's the vibe? Check in with me. Uh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> so I'm, I'm so happy, and I'm just so so happy. I just can't. It doesn't seem real that I'm debuting and I'm able to be. I'm just so so happy. Megan, can you even believe it right now? I can't even. I can't even believe that I'm standing here right now. Um, I'm so grateful, like beyond words. And I, I don't know. I'm just at a loss of words. It's okay. I know you guys are emotional. So, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm about to faint right now. No, stand up. Stand up. Everybody hold her up. That's your job now. For the rest of your time as a group, make sure you hold Megan up, okay? Oh, God, are we How are you feeling? I am just beyond grateful for this amazing opportunity to be standing here with these beautiful girls. And thank you so much to everybody for making my dream become a reality. And I couldn't ask for anything else. Thank you so much. And you gotta, you gotta talk me through your thoughts because I was watching you be the last girl called and I could just see all this emotion happening on your face. How did that feel? I, I'm still processing it. I, I really, like, whoa. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Um, like, whoa, I, yeah, honestly, I, I feel think, you. I think, um, I just wanna say like, like really believe in yourself. That's all I can say right now. I'm wow, that's crazy. I'm so yeah. I'm so happy to do this with you. Believe in yourself, guys. Give it up for your new global girl group, Katsai, <laughs> Sophia, Laura, Yunche, Megan, Daniela, and Mano. Please make sure you check out the Netflix docu-series capturing the formation of this iconic girl group, Cat's Eye, from the very beginning, coming to you in 2024. And the final score details will be available soon on Weavers. This, that's right, this has been an incredible finale. Thank you for having me. And judges, why don't you come on up here and join the celebration? We want you on stage. This is the Global Girl Group debut project presented by Hype Geffen Records, the debut Dream Academy live finale. Thank you to all the staff and artists who are a part of this incredible journey with the contestants as well as our sponsor for tonight, Samsung. And most importantly, the worldwide fans who are part of the dream. Thank you. Gracias, gamsa mi nida, danka. I've been your host, Tetris Kelly. Thank you and good night. <laughs>